All right. Crack of Crack of Fest 2023 can officially begin now that the Crack of Prime has arrived. That's what we're going to call you from now on, Prude. Nice. That's crack cool. Crack of Prime. Oh, crack. really? I was going to say we were waiting on our blackest member. Well, that's really the duality of man. Peach isn't part of the show. Said black, not brown. Ooh, I don't even know what that, I don't even know what that means. Expand on that. You have, you have to no, you have to ponder on that one yourself. I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, gotta gotta let that one stew in the old the old brain cauldron. That's what I call my. That's what uh, that's what those of us in the know call the mind, the brain cauldron. Yeah, so you can find your ganochi. Good. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I keep my ganochi right next to my gnosis. If I had any. Ooh, that was a deep joke. Damn. All right. Well, let's. Uh, you know, guys. Let's. Uh, let's. Let's. Let's have a show. Why not? What do y'all? How do y'all? How do y'all? I know. Look, I know it's. I know it's a little out of the norm for us. But like, let's. I don't, let's have a show. You know. Let's. Let's entertain literally tens of people. Oh, that's tens. what I do best. Tens of people. Let's uh, oh. let's just, let's just let's 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 have some fun tonight. So now, have we officially made the transition? No, we haven't. Uh, I forgot to do it before SmackDown, and I didn't really want to do it during. Oh, painfully based, honestly. So, no, we are we are still pre-op on that. So we're still on Twitch tonight. Despite all my blustering Thursday, which we're gonna get into that tonight, I think I, I heard a I heard a rumor that we're gonna talk about how Jeff Keeley ruined all our summers. Um, we got some uh, we got some other stuff we got some other fun stuff to talk about. I fucking hate GF. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, we're gonna talk about the Palestine Israeli conflict. Uh, we're gonna debate the uh, oh, for real? East West. Orthodox split. Uh, we're gonna we're we're gonna research the latest findings in quantum wave theory. Um, ah, that shit doesn't matter, bro. No, yeah, that shit's all. It's it's either all made up or it's demons. And no, I will not expand on that. So, uh, no, what we are gonna talk about tonight is uh is our favorite thing in the world. Food. Food. So. Let's get, a, let's get a little food chat going. Fruit, I feel like... Well, actually, I don't know. With your new schedule, I don't I don't know what your food resume is looking like these days. Well, I, you... I can tell you what it's looking like right now. Because okay. I, woke, I, I was taking a little nap. Can we, all, can we all agree that we're very disappointed there's no more update on Prude's kleptomania? Well, I'm still eating the remnants of that. I have here... I mean, it's I have, like, a, I had so much... Like, now that I've, like... I've like really leaned into the process of finishing up, like getting everything put away and stuff. And uh, I collected all the various bits from that. And uh, like, you know, just like the standard like Walmart checkout bag. I like all said the remnants like left over from that was probably like two full like packed to the brim bags. Um, Jesus. And so like one of them has like all like the kind of just garbage like sugary shit that I'm not gonna like bother with because I don't really need it. Like. You know, like, uh, what, like, like some fig Newtons and like fucking, Ugh. uh, well, hold on. If, like, if you got space, a big will eat them. <laughs> you want, <laughs> you want this dude to pack up his fig Newtons, carry them literally. I'm sorry, from I the... like fig Newton. All right, okay. Uh, hey, uh, all right. You're alone in that because yeah, I don't really like them. I, just Look, not, don't I like eat fig Newtons. I used to like them, like, when I was a kid, like, they were a staple at the hunting. Well, camp, I could, right? I could tell you the story of the fig Newtons specifically because I don't right. like them. Uh, I'd love I got, to hear that. I got story. it. No, we, yeah, we got to hear this now. I, I had to get a couple of packages one time when I saw them at work because, you know, those, the things rotated that they had, like, stocked at the different offices and stuff. And, like, well, hold I, on, uh, hold on. Is this a story about why you don't like them or why you have? Well, no, them? it's why I got them. Okay, I was gonna say if if you're about to hit us with a story of why you don't like them and told us you stole them, well, I, I watched some stupid food science video about like how apparently figs, like if you ever eat like a whole fig and there's like a little crunchy bit on the inside, it's actually very likely like a like a tiny dead and crystallized wasp. 
because I guess uh what? Oh yeah, they like fig. Yeah, so oh, they like, like and they like help fertilize them or some shit. I don't know. Anyways. Hey, that's protein though. Yeah, it's not a big deal, but I was like, oh, that's interesting. And I like figs, you know, they're they're good, like fresh. But then I got the fig new and I was like, dude, this fucking sucks. It's like not nearly as good as a fresh fig or like a dried fig even. It's, I don't know. Anyway, so I, that's why I grabbed like several of them and then never ate them after having that one. No, man, this, um, this, this feels like you're tripping, man. I'm going to be real with you. And then, you know, and there's other things in that bag too, like granola bars. I'm not a big granola bar guy. Um, now, like. Are we talking like chewy granola bars or yeah, like some the Nature Valley ones. granola bars? And yeah, there's some Nature Valley stuff like the crunchy ones, and there's like the uh, what are those? What are those bars that are like it's like soft until like a strawberry jam or whatever? Like there's those ones. Like there's a lot of that shit, and then like it's just it's just slop, you know. I didn't need that stuff. And then the whole like the the bag that's the majority of it that I'm definitely bringing because I'll I'll definitely eat it over time and it'll last forever is a bag full of like various like nuts, nut mixes. Um, oh, trail big mixes. Nuts guy? Yeah, oh, yeah, I love nuts, big dude. nuts guy. Yeah, he loves, loves nuts. Yeah, loves nuts. Well, you know, and I gotta bring these trail mixes because we're we're gonna be trail boys. Oh, that's true. Trail, I mean, that's true. I've got some news. Big, for yeah, big update trail. on that tonight. Yeah. So I've got a you know got a lot of that, and that's just a big old bag, and uh, that's definitely coming. The other stuff though is just, it's just kind of slop, and it's not as good. So tonight specifically though, I did grab. Some uh, some flaming hot limon Cheetos. Uh, one bag of just plain nuts, and a little bag of mini chips ahoy. And uh, that's my my haul for tonight. My out of out of a nap snack spread. Ma'am, how a brother after thirty gonna be napping? Well, I woke up at like one a.m. Oh. Uh-huh. It's right, it's still it's like been hard, kind of adjusting back to like daytime hours. So, like, I've noticed weird shit with like just, especially now the days are long too. It just feels weird being awake all day, you know. Still mm-hmm. from being asleep at or being awake at night for so long. So all I right. think it's just been like hard to adjust back to that. So okay, that's fair, I suppose. Just still weird, like I don't know. I usually don't nap because if I mean if I'm intending to sleep that night, I definitely cannot sleep if I nap. But right, right. But you know when when you're about to pass out anyways, it's like you kind of don't have a choice, and you know taking an hour of naps better than you know falling asleep for hours and then continuing to fuck up my sleep. Mm-hmm. And just uh, pull the Mara. Oh yeah, real morgue hours. Mm. Yeah. I wish there's like a limit to how much I can sleep in a day now. That's like an old guy thing. Like, cause it used to be I could sleep, you know. Oh, you, you guys be getting up at like 5 a.m. then going to that like 4 p.m. lunch or dinner special. Hey man, Ooh. hey, hey, hey. Listen, we're about to begin into big pancake country, okay? So yeah, we you best believe there's gonna be some 5, 6 a.m. wake up calls. Wow. Yeah. Go big. All right, I'm gonna ask a question. Already, I can already guess how both of you are gonna respond. Tony's going to be like, I don't like pancakes. And then Prude's going to have some 10-minute diatribe about how pancakes oh, don't hold on, match hold on, hold on. minimalist hold on. Did you just say, I'm not going to like pancakes? I don't know. You don't like anything else, so. It made your offense that I love pancakes. Uh, okay, well, that's I'm duly noted. Well, you... Is my 10-minute diatribe going to be about how waffles are better? Because they are. See, there you go. And that's, you know where that comes from? That comes from white privilege. Okay, because white people always be eating waffles while the rest of us have to settle for like pancakes made from like cornstarch. Okay, that's the struggle. That's the real struggle. That's us how that's how us down here in the dirty grew up. Right. We didn't we didn't have your Aunt Jemima and your your fancy stuff. We had we had to make pancakes out of what we had. Okay, so that's your white privilege speaking. I'm going to ask you to keep that in check from now on, sir. I think uh now I will say like of the big three, I'm kind of a French toast bigger the most. I don't disagree, honestly. I don't disagree. I like making French toast, it's really easy. Yeah, it is. It is uh... Now do you do you like them like more in strips or do you like them like whole? I mean uh, when I make I it mean, I eat them whole, but yeah. I when I make it I eat it whole, but I do fuck with the strips. Mm-hmm. Then was it Wendy's that had like French toast fries or something? Probably. That sounds know. all sorts of fucked up. I don't know. It's actually, yeah. 
Uh, it's not so different from the strips. And use French toast sticks. Well, whatever. Yeah, they're they're fries. Oh, it's two seventy nine for a four piece order. So you're paying three dollars for like a slice of bread. A piece of bread. Yeah. Ooh. And they're not even real thick either. That's how they get you? Hmm. Decently crispy, custardy and vanilla. So the review sounds pretty positive actually. So. Hmm. But they're apparently not as good as, oh, Prude's going to love this. Washington Post says they simply don't stack up to Burger Kings. Oof. Tough, yeah, tough words. Wow. Tough words from the... Uh, that is very hard. The Washington Post, democracy dies in darkness. Well, so apparently does taste. Wow. Yeah. I do hear oh, that wow. Burger King's I didn't know we were big... better. I didn't know this was Big Burger King hating hour. I mean, it does suck ass. Specifically, their Here burgers suck ass. <laughs> Yeah, but they're objectively better than McDicksburg's. I don't like Burger King. I don't know. McDicks has a classic flavor to them. Fucking chill out, Gavin Newsom. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I went there. I mean, there's something satisfying about going and get a big bag of McDicks, right? Like, just go and get, like, a... <laughs> I bet you like a big bag of dicks. <laughs> like, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so, uh, yeah, you know, I walk into it for, for your pleasure. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I bet you do walk but, into it for your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> go and get in a big old stack, like a big old bag of, like, uh, like just the cheap burgs from, from right. McDonald's. Or some McChickens, you know, just the, the shitty stuff that they have. Like, there's some, there's some sort of uh, perverse... Enjoyment in that. Well, and, actually, uh, you know what? This brings me to an interesting question. While we're talking about like just you know, hell of food, what's gonna be mm -hmm. what's gonna be the the White House V two, I guess, ceremonial meal. Um, like you, like I'm saying, I'm saying, you you've you've put your shit up right. The like two bags of stuff you own, right? Sure. You're you're you're. In, you're settled, you're hunkered down, you're in place. Obviously, your next thought is food. Uh, well, I think every thought you have is food. I know that because every thought I have is food. So, right. what what's what's gonna what's the ceremonial meal day one? I don't know. You know, I mean, it depends. Are we cooking or are we talking about going out? Because I, mean, I don't know. Because uh, I can tell you, I'm pretty much always in the mood to just go to like a Chinese buffet. Ooh. Yo, now that's that is an, a good pick. That's a good one. Now would you would you like go sit down at the China buffet? Well, oh, if it's a China buffet, yeah, you got it. Yeah, so. I mean I feel like they're yeah, the yeah. most of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um hmm. and you might you might be a little hungry from all the moving, so and all right. Okay, I asked that because I I sorry, I'm sorry. I, I know I'm gonna be overbearing here, but I have already decided for us the V three ceremonial meal. Yeah, we well, will be separate, separate from the V two. Yeah, V two is U two. See, okay. it's it's V one because there was one person. V two is two because of two. See the theme I'm going with here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. V three, we will be making the pilgrimage. To where? Where do you think? Oh, uh, going Africa. to Gall Gallenberg. That holy establishment. That sac that sacred place that lies in the heart of the mall. Oh. Uh-huh. I believe there is a Sabaros um in oh. Knoxville. So wouldn't have been my first guess because you know it's a little bit of a secret. A little known. That's true. I uh, and you know place. what? And you know what? That's on me. I, I forgot. We're live to literally tens of people. I yeah. I shouldn't have let that spill slip. On, spill on the beans. On That's that gonna spread like well, we know one person finds out, and it's gonna spread like wildfire. Once you find out about that little hidden oasis tucked away in the food court, you yeah. know there's no going back from that arcane knowledge. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's true gnosis right there. So, yeah, man, China China buffet would be pretty good. That's that's a, that's a pretty good choice. Yeah. Dude, actually, that reminds me. Are there so I know like, like like while rewinding like way back to the pancake thing, I know there's like hella places like over in the touristy era areas, but are there any like pancake houses? No, Maryville just has like the staples like IHOP, Waffle House. Yeah, that's good enough for me. I think there's Waffle one in Townsend though, and Townsend Townsend's like not too. 
what is, I I can't I never like can consistently like remember like accurate distances. Oh yeah, Townsend's like twenty Pretty minutes. Close. Yeah, it's not far at all. I think I, I drive further than that. I, yeah, twenty two minutes, sixteen point eight miles. I drive that far like to get into town, like into my town that I live in, that I technically live right. in. So hey, we could go to the Snoring Bear Diner. That's like halfway between Maryville and Townsend. In Walland? Oh. oh yeah, and it's right. Is it right next to the antique place? Yeah. Ah, yeah. I love. Well, hey, we're going to that antiques place. I've told you all that story, but I'm not going to tell it again. But I've told you all that story about the antique place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Snoring. Yeah. Right next to the antique outlet mall. Yeah. 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 Family friendly. Do they have pancakes? Oh shit! They got. Uh, I'll throw this up on the screen. They got hella fish and chips. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's Taylor and the boys. Look at a map hour. I mean, it's a diner. They're definitely a pancakes. Mm, I don't see any, but man, they got it. This is actually like decent looking food because we've seen some diners that have like turd food. Like we've seen some truly awful shit on Google Maps. Yeah, but this place actually looks. Man, that art goes hard though, man. That art goes yeah. hard. Three cakes that. served with butter and syrup. Six bucks as of 20, May 2022. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, this place actually looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, and that's. Are um, you guys the source to go and just order like a stack of pancakes? Or like, because for me, if I'm doing that, I'm going like, to get it as part of like a like a breakfast spread, you know, like I'm going to get the whole. Right. I, I usually get the meat and egg to go with. Yeah, that's literally a 10 minute drive from the heart of Maryville. Oh, yeah. We're, that's, that's happening. That's happening. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my. A nice, a nice, a nice little chili late october morning saturday or sunday you know mm. 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 anyway tony hit us with some food chat uh today i got the domino i ordered okay. the pepperoni okay so you know it's always a good night when you got the pepperoni oh yeah, oh, yeah. and then uh i've been a big granola guy lately yeah yeah Granola kind of goes hard. So does freeze dried fruit, but freeze dried fruit is like really expensive. It is, yeah. Have you ever ordered from like that nuts.com place? No, I have not. Mm. I wonder if it's expensive. I mean, I'm guessing it is, but. Huh. Well, that's funny because I got uh, I got the, the little, little C today. I'm going to hit up the little the little, little C. Oh, you got that hot and red. I also, yeah, I got the hot and ready. I also got the pepperoni. I also got the crazy bread, too. And they changed their crazy bread a little bit. Like, I can't quite put my finger on how to describe how what they changed, but it's it's different. It's like their crazy bread used to kind of be like more like evenly, uniformly shaped like breadsticks, right? But now they're like, I can't, I can't explain it. I really can't. Uh, it's one of those things you have to see. So if you ever go to, if you go over to Little C's anytime soon, get the get the crazy bread, and you'll see how they're different. And it's, I'm not saying it's a bad change, but it ain't a good change neither. So not uh, not too crazy about it. Tomorrow though, uh, doing a doing a little steak, doing a little steak action, a little steak action. We're doing a little steak action. Base? Yeah, do it on the charcoal. That's gonna be good. Or um, yeah, that was that was pretty much it for me this week. I, I don't. Uh, it's it's gotten like we're, we've gotten to like real like real hot hours here down in the dirty. Mm. And so the whole like you know fun little weekday adventure thing is kind of pumping the brakes on that because I don't want to be out somewhere in you know ninety eight degrees, eighty percent humidity. That ain't oh, right. that ain't it, so. And I'm, I tell you what, I ain't going to miss. I am not going to miss that. There's a lot of things I will miss, but that ain't going to be it. And I know it still gets hot up there, but like it don't get South Mississippi hot. I see. So. Uh, yeah. Anyway. All right. Well, that was food chat. Enjoy that. Well, Let's see uh, breaking news. I mean, I probably looked at it before, but I'm pretty sure this Empire Garden place is the best reviewed Chinese buffet in Maryville. What's it going? Empire Garden. 
There's a couple other, yeah. like, cause there's, there's some that are not buffets that are well reviewed, and there's some that are buffets that are kind of shittily reviewed. Right. But Empire Gardens, I think the highest rated, I think buffet style. I think it's buffet style. Based oh on... yeah. Now Tony went to this just a couple I, I weeks ago. I did go to that place, yeah. and I didn't think it was very good. Really? Well, well that, then that's unfortunate because the people think it's one of the better options. Ooh, but that little main looks good. Did I tell you I trying? I finally tried the lo mein at Panda, and it was it, not Panda Express, Panda, the local place, and it yeah. was really good. In fact, uh, I was gonna say, yeah. I, in fact, I I would I might go get that this week. Honestly, that was really good. Now, yeah, the, no. The place that I would recommend us going to is uh, the Peking Chinese restaurant. I think it's called Peking, but yeah, mm-hmm. no, it's Peking. Okay. Oh, so that's so funny because that's the other one that's like. That one has like two and a half stars on Yelp. Maybe they still don't know what they're talking I, about. Yeah, but. listen, here we go. Can we can we address something real fast? Yelp sucks. I well, feel I like think he... part of the negatives given are because like it's it's a bit dirty inside, but like that's true. You know what you're getting into. Well, yeah. and that's like that's like especially in the last few years here in California, like a lot of places that are like have bad reviews. Especially if it's a small sample size, so like it would, a lot of the reviews were like kind of front loaded from recent times. You'd get a lot of dumb shit about like just like people not fall, following like retarded like COVID policy shit. Right. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, bro, like I'm there to get food. I don't give a fuck about your like mythology about this shit. Like I want <laughs> the fucking food. I don't give a shit about if somebody's like double masking or whatever the fuck you yeah. think they need to do. Oh, shout out! This Peking is right across from the big lots. Really, no, no pot for big lots. No, I've I've never oh. been a big big lots guy. Wow, so. controversial. I don't even, what, do you, I, what do they even do? Are they like a dollar store or something? Yeah, um, yeah, it's kind of like the Walmart of dollar stores, if that makes mm, sense. Okay, okay, okay. It's like they have a little bit of everything, but it's all cheap. Like they even have furniture. Now, granted, I I have bought some stuff like furniture from there. Like I don't remember what it was, but I bought I bought a little bit of stuff, and it was okay. But it's like it's That's like good to know because you know. I might buy some like kind of more temporary furniture. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's actually an interesting conversation we can have here in a second. Um, because, uh, because but I, they don't have an IKEA out there. If they had an IKEA, I'd be I, old yeah. There. I and I had I want to bring something up about that as well here in a second. But let me let me finish what I was talking about uh, with the the thing. The problem with um with Yelp is I feel like the Yelp demographic skews heavily white people, and also right. Foyd. If you're if you're smelling that's what I'm stepping true, in, true, and that's a yeah. troublesome demographic all it around. It is, extre- yeah. But Burger, not Burger King, fucking did that thing where ah, my god, I did that thing where I'm reading something and I say it out loud. Oh, the man. thing about Google Maps, or really I guess Google in general, is I feel like it's a much, much, much wider sample size of like yeah. demographically. So that's I f- I find that they have the most honest reviews. Well, it's one of those things like if you haven't negative. customized your phone and you have certain Google apps, like sometimes like I think it'll like detect based on all your fucking phone sensors that you've been somewhere and like it like ping you and ask you for a review. It's like people That's who just creepy as hell. Who, who just go with whatever are like, oh yeah, I was there. I'll write a review real fast and that's how you get those reviews that are like a sentence and it's like, you yeah. know like, Yeah. Food was good, uh bathroom dirty, four stars. Yeah, you know, some <laughs> shit like that. Like Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. We got a Hooters in Mary? Well it's technically an Alcoa, but we get, we get I, don't have, I don't think I've ever gone to Hooters in my life. I'm gonna be real. I don't think I'm ever gonna go to Hooters in my life. I think we almost Same. went to the we almost went to the one in one of the districts of Tokyo because we were wandering for hours and like we were getting kind of ready to just eat. Mm. Uh, and it was right there, but like we skipped that and then we wandered for like another several hours. To be, fair, to be fair, if you're gonna go to a Hooters, I feel like the one in Tokyo is really the one you want to go to because that's. That's well, going to be for multiple ex- reasons. Yeah, yeah, it's an experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's probably a lot better than the American Hooters too. Mm-hmm. I was just kind of going for the uh, the Nick Adams base joke there, you know, mm-hmm. tired tired from a, a hectic foursome with the boys, which is going to be rough for us because there's no mythical fourth. Well, cryface. Soon. Oh, well, I'm just saying, like you know, there's there's oh. candidates, right? Like, like, is there? <laughs> we we know a lot of boys that are like one ah. one one falling out with their family away from That's being true. a fourth. That's true. That's true. I there's one fourth, and I'm not gonna say their name out loud. 
because it will just create endless controversy. But I like, I, I focus my mental energies every day towards it happening. It probably never will. You but I type it in a secret chat so I know what you're talking about. I'm not about. because one because one of you will actually get angry about it. Not not like angry about it. well, yeah, I'm gonna say a pigeon. A pigeon. Really? You're yeah. you're still you you think that's a possibility still? I, I think so. I think so. And I'm 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 did man, you, I'm did you think I was the one who's gonna get angry about that or no, do you I think, think it was Tony was gonna be the one I'm angry about it because he hates uh, pigeon. I just I'm not convinced that he's at a point in his life or will ever be at a point in his life again where he would even consider something like that. I mean, crazy shit happens. We've all seen be, it. Crazy shit honest, happens. I, I thought none of us were angrier about him than you at this point. So, like, I Me? was like, yeah, I thought you were, like, really bitter about all that. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, I'm bitter about it. I don't know it. that I hate Chris at this point. I just think he's kind of a loser. Oh, yeah, I definitely think he's a loser. But if he could, like, go through, like, a, like Dante's Inferno, you know, have that well, art. and you know, I think we're all willing to forgive certain things if a person just grovels and tells us that we're right. Like, I think, yeah, I think, you know, I, yeah, I, yeah, and I know what you're referring to, actually. I, I mentioned something once. I said that even if he groveled at my feet, I would never forgive him. But mm. I, I don't know. That was just one of those things, like, that was like. I, I don't know. That was just hubris. Yeah, and uh, uh, unreliable narrator moment. You know, we had a little bit of a overstatement there. Maybe. But, you know. I, I mean, every, like, I mean, everyone knows. How do you deal with Taylor? You just like let him have his outburst and then wait until like six months later when he realizes he was wrong and let him like come to his own conclusion. Well, this is, there's and there's go, also this. Oh, curve. my God. That's a great idea, Taylor. Well, yeah, there's also like this curve where like. You'll vehemently disagree with somebody on something or like about somebody or so, or something like that, and then mm -hmm. like it's a it's just a matter of time, and it varies depending on the situation. Where right. like it goes from like really not wanting to do that thing at face value, and then like on some timeline, it becomes like subject to like an, a funny bit that you think you want to do or something, right. and then like then you're into it, you know? Like right? Example, so. you know. Sorry, Look, ahead. I don't. I, I'm not an example kind of guy. Yeah, that's my thought. I'm more of a more of a. Well, my a, what I was saying a, is a like, like if feeler. at least we're talking with like with people like Capri. Yeah. Like I'll probably eventually get over being angry at Capri one day. Sure, sure. But for now, he can go fuck himself. So right, um, right. So that's, that was kind of like well, I mean, so that hasn't happened yet, but that was something that I speculated would happen. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I mean, you know, I I I don't think there's anyone trying to rack my brain real fast i don't think there's anyone that i've ever like stayed mad at always like even to today yeah and there's people who who even now wouldn't be welcome back though but like uh there's only no um there's there's only i was gonna say one but no there's only two people in the right. history of anything we've done like anything right. we've done all our projects there's only two people that under no circumstances would well okay let me rephrase of the two one of them could but i mean i i there would just have to be like they would have to become a i think i think i know which of the two you're talking about yeah you're, you're talking there'd have to be like a real come to jesus moment they'd have to be like a real uh yeah they would have to be one of those things where they just they they like they've turned their life around they've shown physical evidence of turning their life around notably in you know not being a fat, lazy piece of shit all anymore. Right, and it's one of those things where also on top of that, they'd have to be able to laugh at how they used to be. They'd have to be able to laugh at how they used to be, and then also go, you know, you you know, hey man, you were right. I should listen to you then, right. but hey, I got that, and then I I would be like, hey man, that's great. Because that's what I told them after that con the original yeah. controversy too. I was mm -hmm. like, I was like, you know, I now this is out. Like, we're forgiving people, but you have to know that now that we know this, you're never not going to hear jokes about this. Yeah. So yeah. like you have to be able to laugh at yourself. Oh yeah, he got real upset at me. He did, yeah. And then, but the other person, I'm not. We're not going to say any names, right? The other person under there is no circumstance. I mean, that one's also fairly there obvious. Is to us, zero I think, so. circumstance, and unless uh, yeah. his for him, it would literally have to. Would he would have to not only come to Jesus, but like devote his life to like an as, as, ascetic. How do you pronounce that? I just I just say like ascetic. S S S I'd I'd accept his return to the Discord for a large lump sum payment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, okay. Yes. Either. Okay. Yes. Two options. Either uh, joining a monastery, adapting an ascetic per like lifestyle for like a decade, or uh, one hundred fifty thousand dollars. 
Right. Either one. Well, in this economy, bro, I think oh, I need true. a bit more. Houses that's, are expensive. That's true. Biden's inflation. All right, it's going to have to be at least 300. You know, there's type there's types of crazy where even the amount of money might not be worth it because like a bad day, that money yeah, could be true. down the drain somehow. Yeah, that's that's true. That's, that's true. I looked at I looked at the pronunciation. Yeah, it's aesthetic. So aesthetic. Okay. Right. Uh, but anyway, ba- back to yeah, old pigeon. Getting, like, yeah. I, I mean, just I, feel like I don't get off on a big should, thing, but should yeah. his whole life fall apart up there. I I feel like he'd like end up living with his fucking mom or something. And oh, 100 yeah. percent. Well, maybe, maybe that's the intermediary step before you. you yeah, know, I you, think that's I think that's kind of the problem. Like I've I've considered that before. Like, you know, you know, you, you think about things. And I thought about, well, like, yeah, and he's, he's going to have a conversation with his mom. But she's like, well, you know, honey, uh, you still got your old friends. And, and then he's thinking, like, which old friends? And he's like, oh, those guys. Yeah, and then... I, I just I have a feeling like I almost want to put him in, like, the camp with, like, the Wonkas and stuff where I just yeah. feel like that too much time has passed with not enough said between the parties to where, like, right. I just don't ever think that moment arrives without like us doing something but Mm -hmm. i mean obviously the conditions aren't right for him yet but i feel like i feel like if something did happen when let's be real when something happens uh i feel like we give it like six months and then i feel like prude reaches out yeah it's gotta be you because it can't be me because because i mean you already know it won't be me (laughs) It won't be him, <laughs> and it won't be and me I, because you know my right. my first thing will literally just be, you know, it it, it comes off as shit eating grin, and it comes off that way because I will have a shit eating grin. Sure, I I think that like yeah, like it has to be sugar coated at first a little bit, and uh, I'll, you know I would have a little I'd have a little bit of a pitch because by then we'd be in a situation right where everybody is there right. already. Yeah, by doing, then we're we're, we're nationally famous documentarians, and and, right. and and you know it's like it's like you know pigeon, not that I'd call him that in the situation, but like you know like we're we're doing a thing now in person, so all the bitches you had about online stuff don't even exist because we're we're cool real life guys now. Wait, what was and this we're bitch like, about online stuff? I don't know, like he he you know he kind of had his own phase of like. You know, he said shit at one point about how like it's not real because it's online or something. Oh, you know, yeah. like that's always been so stupid. So like, like that sort of thing, you know, would be out the window. And then also like, yeah, but you just you have know. to like gaslight your online friends into becoming your real life friends. Right, right. That's what we're and, doing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, also we're doing serious big boy work. You know. Yeah. And uh, again, internationally famous. Yeah, documentary, documentary. It's, e- it's even kind of artistic in nature. So it's extremely if, artistic. If, if you in don't nature. come and join our creative collective, you're kind of not an artist. Yeah, honestly. Exactly. So, and that's actually something that I'm issuing to all of our viewers too. Like, if yeah, you're not contributing yeah. to what we're doing, you're not really shit artistically. Because that's the next. Like, let's be real. That's the next phase. Like, we're done with like the like the, the all right. I don't know if we've said it live, but we're going to say it now. Like, this whole gamer thing, like, that's so, like, 2017. Yeah. Well, like, gamer, yeah. because uh, with, that's over. Games are fun, and it would be cool to have, like, a community again. But I'm not going to, like, dedicate another, like, three, four years to, like, building it. Because that's stupid, and it goes nowhere. It's nice to have, but it doesn't go anywhere. Like, my next yeah. focus is purely artistically and i know that sounds oh my i want to punch i want to kick my own ass for saying uh, that you know it's it's true Hard but it's true. true like yeah like we've talked about it's like i want our next phase to be something like well like we're talking about like million dollar extreme but not because we're not like comedy but like that mm-hmm. like an artistic artistic collective of like appalachian artists of different like obviously our thing is you know photography videography production documentaries well, and, and uh, yeah like i wouldn't say we're, we're not comedy quite yet because i could definitely see that angle emerging i mean our, our i'm st- like naturally comedy so. yeah i mean our yeah. stuff is going to be comedic but not like on i don't want to say not on purpose but not as the focus i'm saying i'm saying that i could definitely be egged on to like doing amateur like open mic comedy oh well something. maybe but I, i'm just I saying like definitely the, the focus hey, we do a video of forcing Prude to get on the mic at some random. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Hey, yeah, like, that's content right there, man. It would be, see, that's here, content. here's here's a little secret. If like, 
if enough if enough of the of the boys peer pressure me to do something, it's very hard for me not to do it. So right. but, I, but, I do fold to that. So yeah, but but my point is like you know this this gamer stuff you know whatever it's done it's over I don't care anymore. Right. You know that's part of why I'm yeah. moving away from wide boys. Like I just don't care. It's stupid. If you yeah, are like if you don't games. if you don't have an artistic talent to contribute to me and our collective i i really don't care and i don't i'm sure people go, oh, taylor are you artistic yeah not really man like i i mean i kind of okay at writing i'm good at photography sort of but well like, I, I guess it's fair to say that if you're not actually artistically inclined like you can still be useful as i guess a quote-unquote talent if you bring something else to the table in terms of experience or like that's true Te there's technical talent as well there's stuff like that we need yeah. we need our like retarded drone zoomers too in the collective yeah. and uh yeah. so yeah. you could be well, that what he's saying is if you are like autistically gifted at like da vinci resolve call me yeah that's that's what i'm that's saying. true yeah. and also if you can provide me a license that is legitimate for free <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. there you go yeah that's the real goal in life is being financially stable enough to avoid i mean uh afford a uh adobe creative suite subscription right so anyway we... right, i want to be one of those i want to be one of those ones that are like so successful that they just start giving you the shit for free like that's... oh yeah yeah what I want. I want to rewind all the way back to the IKEA thing you were talking about. Okay. Because yeah. it was actually we were talking I was talking about that earlier and this will tie into a large conversation. Um I was looking at it earlier. I th I thought I thought at first they had one. They don't. Knoxville doesn't have one. There's like uh, another place. Yeah, there's another one somewhere uh, Nashville maybe. I don't know. Uh but there's 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 been calls for years for Knoxville to get one obviously because it's like I think it's one of like the only cities of its size that doesn't already have one. Right. So it's kind of ridiculous, but I was just, uh, I was looking at that and two weird things. Well, one weird thing happened and then I'll, I'll go into the larger conversation. I was talking about that and this has happened a lot lately and I'm, I'm sure there's an explanation. Uh, mm -hmm. well, not a, not a better explanation, at least a feasible explanation. I was talking about it. And as I was talking about it, an IKEA ad came on, um. on, on TV, which was weird. Um, and that's how the, 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 um, the amount of times that's been happening lately is like worrying and it's worrying for two reasons because either there's a rational explanation and my fire tv is listening to me which isn't great or mm. there's an irrational explanation and it's like a synchronicity and that's also not great because that's creepy so it's kind of like uh you know not not great either way so um but what i was talking about was uh because because the ongoing theme right now because as you know you're like a week, week and a half away. Um, so then it's then the then the clock starts ticking for me, right? And mm -hmm. I'm I'm working through these different plans on what I'm gonna do. And like I said, a lot of it's a lot of it's been coming down to like what my parents are gonna do. Because if my parents right. retire and they can come up there, like that's a that's ship like that's shipping and moving. I don't have to pay for. Because right now it comes down right. to I'm really butthurt about having to do that because I do not want it. I don't want to have to rent a pod. I don't want to have to move all just, that shit. Just come up with all you can fit in your truck. And that's then... that's what I'm saying. If I yeah. could, I, I call it, so, so there's plan A, and plan A was just like having, like just going up there with my parents. Because I'm not yeah. too proud to live with my parents at 30. I'm not. I'm sure, really no, not. I, I wouldn't I'm, be either. If my family was like, we're going tomorrow, and I was like, yeah. sure, that's that's pretty convenient. I'd, I'd be like, I'd be like, like, hey, Tony, you want you want to ditch the apartment and rent a room from, from them? Because that's an option if that happened, but Based? Based? But that's not happening. Unfortunately. No, that's not happening. Uh, because that's a you know, uh, again, Sam Hyde. That was a clip I saw of him the other day, and I was like, man, I fucking, I heavily agree with that. He was talking about like, don't be proud, like too proud to like live at home while you're like, as long as you have like a job and you're not smoking weed all the time, or you have something. That's yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously, like you know, it's in, like it's important. I think yeah. just from like the parental perspective that your kid like is working on something. Right. I guess you know, you, you, I mean, it doesn't have to be super ambitious, but that they're not like you know, yeah. But but it, it, his point was like if it's good enough for like Chinese immigrants, it's good enough for you. Like if well, they, yeah, if they I mean, can the have whole... like big generational households, so yeah. can you. Well, it, the whole stigma against that is like a stupid Western boomer yeah. thing. Like having grown up in a time of like, well, because that's like it's both a combination of having grown up in like a time of like unprecedented prosperity that they squandered, and right. then like, uh, like there's this weird like 
it's like it's like a really like false machismo bullshit thing that boomers do where it's like they think that like being almost like openly hostile to your kids is like somehow a good thing yeah oh and yeah like and you see that in commercials all the time and it makes me so angry right it's it, you know it's some shit about like oh you know kicking them out at 18 with like nothing yet yeah. or like or like uh or like you see those like fucking boomer like oh like like facebook memes or something and like the the story is like you know uh you know they push their like daughter to like go and like be a self-starter and like do a lemonade stand and then they taxed her like fucking 60 percent and then you know welcome to adulthood and that's like the punchline because they don't like paying taxes or whatever you know and yeah. it's like it's like okay, but that like that's, that's especially at that age, they're not giving a fuck about the nuances of that, and mm. you're just teaching them that like hard work's not really reward well. Taxation so, like, is tough though. Let's just get sure. That on well, record. sure, sure, but you know, but they're real miserly about it compared to most. And uh, oh yeah, no, they suck. And then and then t- t- like imposing that on your kids as like some sort of, like as some sort of like boomer ha ha moment is fucking yeah. stupid, you know. So yeah, boom, boomers are the worst, man. Yeah. <laughs> Um, total, oh, haha, total boomer death. Am I right? Zoomers in Minecraft, yeah. of course, yeah. or Fortnite. No, I, no, I, don't can't say, I don't can't agree. Say. I mean, fortunately, time's gonna do it soon. Yeah, yeah, but uh, back to what I was saying, though. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's plan A, but plan plan B, of course, would have been to go there and then, but, but plan one A is what I'm calling it now, and that's what I'm really trying to mess with is the like get a firm commitment from them like firm 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 commitment like gears in motion wheels moving that they're like they're there within a year year and a half tops i don't bring shit maybe my back mattress and box spring not even my bed set just a mattress and box spring throw it on the ground because that's literally that's that's free that's just that's just paying yeah. gas right i don't have to order uh, order just japanese futon on amazon and sleep on that like i can't those one. those ruin my back man have you, have you done it well i have like i have like the western style futon thing and they have okay. like a little yeah. bit more support but they're still not great see i actually find that like i really like firm sleep <sighs> surfaces so well, I like my mattress, and I it just do whatever. And it will fit in my truck. It'll be a little bit of a cluster, but it will fit. Um, I mean, I could get everything in my truck, yeah. And at that point, it's just I'm just paying gas money to get up there. So that's I save like at least two thousand dollars, something like that. The only issue though is, and this this is the conversation though, is we're kind of then boned on furniture, and I know that's not a huge issue, but it also kind of is. I you know think what I mean? The spaces that matter, we can figure out a solution. I right. mean, yeah, like I, I think that the the stuff that you are probably intending to kind of just bring along that would like cover, for example, like a living room such that was it because that was the one thing that I really was banking on was bringing my sectional couch with me, which would wouldn't actually take up a bunch of room. And actually, if I could, hmm, if I could get actually, hold, oh, do I have an idea? Well, well, well I'll, tell you, on, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I have an idea, maybe. I think that would fit in the back of my dad's truck. Okay. I guess my dad brought his truck instead of my mom's car with him. Hey, maybe, mm, maybe, maybe. I'll, I'll actually think about. I'll actually think about that. I'll actually think about well, that. Because I was gonna say that, like in my current life, I can tell you that I don't use the living room like ever. Mm-hmm. So well, and I agree. To me. I agree. But from what we've kind of discussed, like the living room is kind of going to be like our like studio because you're well, right i have yeah, no if there's, dis- if there's not an additional space for it then i guess it which, would be an, a natural what, place to convert from what i've seen on zillow <laughs> it ain't it ain't gonna be oh my god that's true these um, ikea sections are expensive holy crap and the couches are expensive yeah 1100 for like the cheapest one sometimes i don't know if you're able to sort by price but like but yeah, I mean, I mean, I do wish there was an IQ out there. For oh, sure. God. It's nice. Oh, man. They uh, sell these in like, sec- well, I guess that's their thing. Well, because yeah. you can do like a build your own yeah. situation. They're, bi- they're big on the whole, like assembling yeah. like your own cav. Yeah, but even um, like the, a section of a sectional is $400. Oh, that's crazy, man. It'd be kind of fun to get a bunch of random colors and like fucking bash them together. <laughs> Little little wacky little wacky space, you know, a yeah. lot of color, a little silly billy action, you know. I like a Google cheap sectionals, and they're just they're the exact same price. 
It's yeah. IKEA, I, I, but I, uglier. I feel like couches in comparison to beds are pretty inflexible in price. I feel like if you want a good deal on a couch, what you do is you you look around for used ones on like Craigslist right. or something. But you know what's crazy about this though? Buying one of these plus like a purple mattress would still be cheaper than renting a pod. That's true, but you can yeah. get a lot of other shit too. Pods are expensive as crap, dude. They're so expensive. But yeah, I didn't Looking actually. Expensive, I didn't yeah. actually think about that. I could probably fit that sectional in the back of my dad's truck. Hmm. That's my view. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just, I was, I was so stuck on like my mom's car because I want to move our TV. I, I'm like, that's non-negotiable. That big TV is coming with us because that's that's going to be the centerpiece of Saturday. Well, all Saturday, and right? And I, I, and I get that part of the living room thing too, right? Is like the 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 sort of watching a stream, whether it be internet mm-hmm. things or like sport things, mm-hmm. uh, type events. Mm-hmm. And but that's really the only like, it's like uh, what am I? It's furniture we need, right? We need that, and like I don't even think we don't even need like a not even like a dining table, but like a kitchen table. Like if, kinda, big, if there's an uh, island, we could just like buy some stools and you're good. I'm the to kind go. of guy where if I'm not eating at my desk, I'm probably just eating standing up in the kitchen to be. Honest. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. And I think the only other times that we'd like be com- like really communally eating would be like sports, and that's going to be again on a couch. So yeah, that would be like a coffee table situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I also really want to bring my coffee table because I have a really nice coffee table. Yeah. I could maybe I can maybe fit it in there. I don't know. That's a that's a lot. It's it's gonna there's gonna be some math. It's gonna be some math, yeah, man. We'll it's gonna be like it. tinker toy I mean, shit. I hate math. I Fucking hate math. Too. Yeah, it's, it's I'll, terrible. I'll say this though, like there might be a situation where if we just found ourselves in dire need of multiple furniture pieces, like or whatever maybe if the nearest ikea is like nashville or something i could maybe justify that drive for like a lot of cheap furniture at once yeah right but there's also like infinite flea markets around here that's and awesome. I, well that's what i'm saying yeah i mean i'm i mean an alternative to anything ikea is just buying random used shit or whatever and like ironically would... enough the next closest one i think is it's either charlotte or atlanta i can't i think that might be they might be like equidistance yeah they're about oh, equidistance yeah, yeah Memphis, the only other no there's one in nashville they're all equidistance, but if you put a gun to my head, which of those three do I want to go to? It's going to be Charlotte. Right. <laughs> Nashville and in Atlanta both heavily suck. So right. um, I think Charlotte's the hardest to get to of the three, though. So Nashville's right. the it's easiest because it's just yeah. a straight shot. Now, I will say this. The offer to Prude to come over here and drive in a U-Haul truck for me for $500 is still on the table. So Is that a thing that, that you're... I wasn't... Yeah. Did you not me see? I wasn't joking. I don't, I don't, even, I don't even remember... Oh, I said, yeah, I said it the other day in the IRL channel. I was like, because renting the truck and paying you would be less than the cost of a pod, but like twice the size. Yeah, I mean, I guess the logistics of that is I almost have to like fly in or like get there through like a car that's not <laughs> mine, all right? Well, Honestly. I was thinking if we could make that Labor Day thing work, right? Yeah. You two come down and then one drives back. And then you drive a truck back. That's true. That would be one way to do it. However, yeah. the downside of that is driving back during Labor Day weekend, which is not. I can't. I mean, it's not great. But it's like an eight-hour drive, right? It's like no. It's uh six and a half. It's not that bad. It's eight not hours, that bad. Like, and the like worst part is where I went to school. So, uh, the worst part would be through Birmingham and then through Chattanooga, and then after that, it's pretty much easy sailing. So yeah, probably wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, I mean, Birmingham would be Birmingham like would be the worst because it's like the interchange, but like between like all the major cities in the South. So, in my experience, like highway traffic due to holidays is never that bad. It's not like yeah, like it's it's more people on the road, but like the causes of traffic are pretty invariant to the number of people. It's more yeah. like the nature of where they're going yeah. and like if they're being reckless and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So oh, we'll, wow. we'll put it, we'll put a pin in that. We got, there's several ideas on the table right now. Uh, none of them are really great ideas, but they yeah, are. I mean, the, even the whole plan ideas. of being there at that time is really, you know, depending that's upon that's heavily in flux. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of stuff is up in the air. So it is what it is though. So, but yeah, I mean, it would be it would be really cool. And a lot of this still a lot of this relies on like what place we get even like because like some of these places are rather tiny, you know, 
Um, and then, you well, know, and that's one reason why also like I wouldn't like if I was going to get new furniture for this, I would go cheaper and more expendable yeah. just because you never know how like your space situation evolves depending right. like from place to place if you move around a bit. Right. No, very true. Very true. But I'm hoping like my ID, my ideal and this fits in with kind of Tony's five-year plan too, is that Wide House will is going to exist for at least as a rental, at least like a year and a half, two years. I think that fits in with his like timeline of buying his own house. So sure. like wherever we're going to land is we're probably going to be there for at least, you know, a year and a half, two years, something like that. Um, I mean, you know, unless we get kicked out, which that's a non-zero number. Uh, percentage percentage wise maybe, maybe. <laughs> um so you know it, it's not too disposable i get what you i get what you're saying but yeah it's not too disposable you also want it to be because when i lived in hattiesburg i had this couch and it was oh my god it was awful it was like tweed it's like a tweed couch it was itchy as shit i didn't even yeah. sit, I, I really like, refused to sit on it it was awful. Yeah, I mean, I, I get that. I mean, you so, want to say that. Well, the thing yeah. is, like, you can buy. I mean, you can buy a cheap couch that's not horrible to sit on. That's or, true. Or like, like, or like cheap. Like, there's cheap uh, mattresses. They're like a couple hundred, and like they're like usable. Like, they're not like gonna be yeah. miserable to sleep on. Yeah. The, the mattress for me though, it's like that's the thing. Like, there's really no scenario where I don't at least bring my mattress because yeah. the mattress, like, you know, you're on that thing for you know what five four or five hours a day I, you know the conventional wisdom of invest in things that separate you from the ground you know yeah uh shoes mattresses and tires yeah and so um <laughs> yeah that makes sense that makes sense i like that uh but um but yeah i have a uh, and and my you know my bed sets whatever i don't have i don't have a, like a lot of clothes so i don't like super duper need a chest of drawers like you can you can get some like plastic stuff from Walmart to sort that yeah. out. I mean, I I'm definitely the kind of person where like I could buy like you know, those like plastic like Sterilite or something like yeah. organizers <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. just drop my clothes into one of those. Yeah. And then because a lot of my clothes I hang, I like anything that's yeah. like a like could be described as like a top, yeah. like uh like t-shirts, jackets and stuff like or button ups even like. Yeah. I ideally just I I don't even because I don't dry them either. I wash them and I hang dry them. Oh. And, uh, it, it preserves them for longer and it keeps them from shrinking up and stuff. I don't like that when like a t-shirt that you like. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, no, no. I have, I had a really nice shirt. Uh, it was a July the 4th, like Alabama shirt yeah. and it just got absolutely ruined in the dryer. It's like completely yeah. faded now. So, I know yeah. It doesn't happen to pants nearly as bad. So I mostly just do it for yeah. shirts and stuff, but yeah, I do the same. Like if there is, if, the, if it's a t-shirt that I care about, like actually care about, cause I don't, I don't really, I don't wear tees out in public. Right. Really, like the like very basic tees, like yeah, maybe, but like anything with like sh stuff written on, I don't wear that in public. I think that's uh, tacky. Well, I don't, yeah, um, I don't, I don't but like anything with stuff written on it. Uh, but like if, this is gonna be nerdy, but like my Gura shirt that hangs up. Oh yeah, yeah, it's because it's a really it's a really nice shirt. So yeah, that hangs up. But yeah, it, like yeah. my any workout clothes, I just goes in. That goes. I fold that up very very casually and throw it in the uh, drawer so yeah like all that like that's whatever but um yeah so i guess it really comes down to it it's just kind of the couch honestly couch and like i was gonna say coffee table but it, honestly god like i'm feeling like the coffee table of all of it is like the cheapest because you can like a, a couch you know sketchy stuff happens on couches you know and you want to be careful with a used one so uh, you the, the bed bugs that you oh god yeah but a table, I mean, God, you know, even Shit, if I, mean, I, I can make a table, man, I've, I mean. I've made tables. Yeah. In fact, yeah. fun fact, one of the things that, um, one of the things, if, if, if we do, if there is some sort of scenario where I can just take every, as much as I want, <laughs> our TV stand is going to be something that I made out of scrap wood 10 years ago. So, um, yeah, I, I will probably end up spray painting it or something. So at least like, isn't, it looks a little less shitty. But uh, yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be our TV stand for a long time. So just just bear that in mind. Yeah. Actually, I don't know because I built I it not. for a TV that wasn't that heavy. 
And this TV oh, is kind of heavy, so I don't know. Well, you could, you could wall mount the TV and just have the TV stand blow it as like. Think about think about thing. wall mounting with a rental though is is like. Well, that's you, true. Yeah. If it's a rental, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And that's another thing is like you know you got to ask these questions. Is like can I can I like what's what's your stance on like wall mounting stuff? Because you know some people are gonna be like oh yeah, yeah. they'll just like, they'll like just void your security deposit like up front. Right. Which is which is insane because like patching that stuff is not really that expensive. You know, just like right. little bitty holes or whatever. And, you know, and even sometimes like that wall mount can like stay and other people can use it. So I don't know. Right. If, if you place it. I don't know. I, I'm really just hoping that we get we get a renter that's kind of cool. But we'll see. I'm also yeah, kind of yeah, wor- worried. I'm worried about like around, I'm worried about like frames and stuff. Right. Hanging stuff like, up. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But I've like most of my posters and stuff are like cheap plastic frames. So you can probably just do those with like pull tabs. Yeah. But I do have some stuff that actually has to be like professional, not professionally hung. Yeah, I mean, you know I'm, I mean, I mean, especially if it's a situation where it's just a real like, you know, uh, miserly landlord sort or something. I mean, I'm fine not totally customizing everything and like, you know, putting things up or whatever for a time. Yeah. That would just be motivation to look harder for a more permanent solution. Yeah. I guess. And, and well, sure. well, listen, just so you know, as part of the larger, like, Bickham family search process for property, definitely keeping in the back of my mind, right, for a little bit extra land for you, right. to, uh, you to park that small house on. Right. I got you, bro. Yeah, hey, I got gotcha, bro. Yeah, we'll, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna, you and me are gonna get out there with like a couple of bags of concrete, pour that slab. Well, I mean, I would be fine just doing it on like a trailer on wheels. Even don't even need a slab for that. Eh, it's it's nice to have it on a, a nice even slab. Uh, yeah, that's true, but I mean, you you can produce oh, a similar effect for cheaper with you know just leveling it, and then like you could do gravel, you could do uh, and gravel is another good option. Yeah. yeah, you could do all sorts of things to just yeah. produce a. a uh, even enough type for you but yeah yeah because that's for me like in my mind that's like the the two things that i really really want is a, just a little bit of property like at least two acres but probably not much more two acres and then right. some sort of like basement thing i don't know if you two remember that place we looked at in seymour that time that had yeah. that really just oh it was that that basement was mint it was the one that had there was fiber on the other side of the street but yeah, not that, that one. one. That yeah, a, that was a disappointing situation. That one, oh, that place was almost perfect. That yeah. that one hurt, honestly. So, I feel like if we just like sent weekly letters to extend the fiber or something. I don't. It's AT and T, dude. Like yeah, they don't. That's true. They would just send you back a picture we, of their dick and balls. Uh, if we threaten certain extremist actions, maybe that'll make them do it. In Roblox, of course. But yeah. Right. Well, like extreme actions, like sending them a strongly worded letter. You know? Yeah. Yeah. People do. Uh tend to fall when you send them letters. They do. They do. They do. They do. Yeah. Uh man, it is it, it is a tangled it is a tangled web, unfortunately. As it always is with me. Y'all you're only going to come to find that with with, with old Taylor. Well, you know, it's, and, it's never and that's, that's something that like I fight myself on too is like endless planning and feeling like I need to like square everything away. It's like maybe you know there's a merit to sit on just saying fuck all that and just going, you know, like Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, that's true. But you know, I'm I'm old money. We don't we don't live like that. It's not in our blood. We like, take ten thousand years to do something. Like, because there's almost like a triage process happening in my mind of appraising what's gonna fit into my car and stuff right now. Because there's right. like, there's definitely more stuff I could bring than would fit. But, right. uh, like for example, like I like like but then I look at them like a big one right now that I'm looking at right now in my room is the uh just the fan I have right here. Just it's like a you know it's like a swivel fan. It's like I knew one of those is like thirty dollars. Oh, That's yeah. a lot of space. I'm not bringing that. Yeah, you know? no. Um, and then like you know, I like this desk I have. You know, I, I made it myself, but it wasn't that expensive to make. I can do it again. You know, and it's mm-hmm. a lot of space saved, and I don't even know if it will. Like, even if I could fit it with wise, it might be too long for because uh, it's a pretty. It's a pretty. It's kind of a long boy. Yeah, I have a lot of space on this desk, which I do like. But mm-hmm. yeah, that's why. But, that's why this desk right here is like non-negotiable for me because this thing is yeah. great. If I, but like, if I leave this one behind and I get, and then I end up getting one of these jobs that are, especially if I get a job that's like work from home at some point, like I would definitely be fine 
just maybe refinishing another top, like a solid wood top, and then buying one of those adjustable sit stand desk bases oh, instead. Yeah. I nice. recently I recently built one of those for my mom actually because she had one that her company shipped her and it had been sitting around for a long time and I built one I built it for a pretty easy process like because it would be the same thing if I did it myself I just have my own base instead of the included one and uh, in a way they're actually a little bit easier to move than a standard desk because the lays can just like be unlocked and folded in kind of like those uh, plastic like picnic tables or whatever oh yeah um so. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm fine with remaking that. And I also want a new chair anyways, to be honest. Like this this IKEA Marcus has gotten old on me. Yeah, and that's what I was about to say was like this the, I'm I'm in a Marcus right now. The, the, I I would not be hard pressed to leave this behind, honestly. It was it was like a good chair when I got it. Like like relative to what I was used to in terms of like really cheap throwaway chairs, but like yeah. Now, but like, yeah, I sat on plenty of like steel case leaf chairs and like, oh, yeah. like that at work. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, I, the only problem is they are easier to find used for cheap here than they are out there. So like, yeah. I, if, if I had the space, I could buy one of those before I left, but like, right. probably won't. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's like cheaper alternatives to like the, the steel case and like the air on stuff though, like that are, that like are kind of coming up in the game, you know, getting recognized as being a good cheaper alternative. Right. Uh, I might just buy one of those. Yeah, uh, that's that's an option too. But like, I'm not I'm not attached to this IKEA. It's even starting to wear in certain places. So yeah, it's it's not. I wouldn't. It breaks down easy enough though. So like, if I did have to bring it, like it'd be okay. Right. But uh, yeah, no, it's it is what it is. Uh, yeah. I'd like to bring this bookcase, but nah. Uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a bookcase, but it's like a cheap Target one, so I'm... I'm yeah, this right. one's a cheap one, too, from, like, Wayfair, so... But, yeah, not... Hot, like, yeah, again, it's it's not a huge thing. And, again, like, what am I displaying in it? Like, I just... Like, a bunch of video game stuff. It's like, oh, oh, boy. I do think it would be cool if we ever had... Just anybody that had, like, a permanent, you know, house they own that was, like, potentially a permanent nexus there to, like, have, like, a... Like, a, a library for the group would be kind of cool as an yeah. idea. Because I have books that I've like kept for years. Yeah. But I don't really want to keep them personally. I kind of just want to have like access to them. Yeah. And like if there's like a place where somebody's had enough extraneous space where it's like, yeah, here's a here's just a wall of book. Yeah. Bookshelves. And this is the official SCJP library or something like that'd be cool. But right. Yeah. And it would even be nice if we found some sort of rental thing that has like built ins. You see that a lot. That'd be cool. Yeah. So, but, but yeah, no, I like bookshelves, uh, uh, stuff like that. That's God. I think like, let's look that up on Ikea. Actually. I think those like of, of all the things to find, I think that might be one of the cheaper ones. Yeah. You can find, it's I mean, under. at least I know the one I got from target was like 20 bucks or some shit. It was like, cause it's, it's basically like particle board like with like a, like a paper backing. It's like not, not very substantial right. uh, these, are, these are like just like cabinet cabinets oh uh, yeah but even like these cabinet cabinets are, oh yeah like this shelf unit yeah this is like 99 dollars, and this is almost as big as the one i have over here so yeah that's like way bigger than what i have so yeah so oh yeah this yeah. this stuff is super cheap and like i wouldn't be like after two years i wouldn't be like devastated to have to throw that into a dump yeah or, pretty much the ikea life yeah <laughs> or just even just give it to someone so I don't think yeah I... well that's that's one thing like, at least where i'm at right here like if i put anything used on the curb it will be gone in like an hour yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah 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 uh man even like tv stands aren't that expensive well they're a little bit more expensive but not like super expensive this one's only 110 dollars. it's pretty good mm. shit this one's 24 i would not trust that <laughs> i would not trust that because my my tv is actually kind of heavy but it's it's a big one yeah the projector is also an option, but also we'll see about that one. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced on projectors. Yeah, I mean, the, it it was cool. The novelty of it was cool, but what the fuck is gaming furniture? Oh my! Oh, oh, they sell like game gaming chairs. Line, oh, that's actually kind of a nice desk. Sixty three by thirty one. For, for what it's worth, I don't think IKEA delivers to this area. Yeah, probably not. Really? They delivered here. Uh, I think I want to say I was looking at IKEA stuff when shopping for something, and it said they didn't ship up to Maryville. So. 
What's what's y'all's three nine seven zero four? I'm three seven eight zero three. Uh, I think I just made it up. It says available for the but I might have just made it up. It could depend on the particular address too. Three nine seven zero four. No, that's Columbus, Mississippi. Apparently, I don't know how I have that up. <laughs> oh, apparently there's delivery available now. Maybe it was just whenever I was looking at it, they said nah. Three seven nine zero. Wait, why is three seven nine zero one Knoxville, but three seven nine zero four is Columbus, Mississippi? Zip codes are a wild thing. Zip bro. codes are wild. Man, let's try that again. Three nine. 701. Hit refresh. Just make sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, pretty much everything is available for delivery. So, what is this? What? Is, what? Is, oh, it's a. I was like, what? Is, it's like a hand. It's a. It's to hold like your headphones or some gay that shit. That is. That's kind of. Uh, that is actually kind of cool, man. I need a. There's like less showy headphone stands, though. Yeah, but I'm a showy kind of guy. Oh, you want a hand? Okay. I'm a. Sh hmm. Well, I don't love it when you phrase it that way, but yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so so I'm learning. Yeah, it would literally be cheaper just to buy a bunch of IKEA furniture than bring my own. So, right. I, th I uh, as far as a pod, so the pod is essentially out. Pod, scratch that out. So the top three plans right now then are just gaslight my parents into bringing it all bring nothing except what can fit in trucks or somehow get you to come down here and drive a truck for me that's the top three plans oh, yeah. right now those are, those are some those are certainly plans those, those are plans th of all the plans that have ever existed those are some of them so right the, so, but the most likely one right now is probably just what can fit into pickup trucks so yeah. only time will tell though so but we're getting there uh i mean by the end of the year I mean, even way before the end of the year. I mean, this is going to be because I mean, we got to be there by the end of the year because the beefy con will be happening at the end of the year. Sure. I guess I, I'm. I, it's getting close to time to kind of like nail that down. Actually. Oh man, it's we, just, we it's might. Planning, it's rough. We might. Uh, we might call that like like after like after Labor Day. After I'm actually there, then we'll nail that down to see what that looks like. Sure to actually say like okay here's where we're going to be having the meet and beat here's when it's going to be happening so in terms of stuff i could bring here's a question do we have any use for instruments in our uh group i mean what kind yeah well because i currently possess both gifted to me and i can i can personally play neither of them i have a acoustic yamaha guitar and mm -hmm. like this a much a much more antique ukulele which is something that i don't even know the worth of i but feel that... like the ukulele has high comedic value y yeah so that's definitely a yes the acoustic guitar i don't know like unless you just plan to play it not really i don't personally that, that was one that i considered selling yeah i'd sell that I'd sell that bring the ukulele yeah I mean, the time to sell it might have passed, but like I can, it's one of those things that I can just, I, I'm going to, anything that I want to retain like general ownership of, but I'm not going to bring now, I'm going to like stack into like a corner in my closet or something. And yeah. that's going to be my, like, if I come back here occasionally, like, on, like for holidays or something, I can just bring one or two things back with me each time or something. Right. Like if, if they're, if they're luggage sized or whatever, or like something that, I mean, because the, the guitar could just be a checked luggage thing. So if I wanted it. Yeah. But I, uh, it's not high priority. So have you just kind of have you kind of given up on trying to gaslight your family out there? Well, I know it's not going to happen before I go. Well, <laughs> you no. Know, like, well, no. Um, I think that uh, it's possible. Maybe they decide to, but it's hard to say. I. It it's it's hard because like we every time I go out with my mom lady, for example, like like I went out with. To the other day with her to like uh, a nearby town, we tried some ramen place and stuff, and uh, like the just the everywhere is super bad with traffic. Everywhere is being like kind of like gentrified in a way, but like in a really dumb way too, where it's not just like getting nicer, but it's like they're replacing single family plots with 
like mid-rise apartments and stuff now. Oh, God. And it's kind of shitty because there's already no parking in this town. And the roads can barely accommodate more traffic at this point. So, mm-hmm. like, and it's just one of those situations where, you know, they're doing this. Like, they're encouraging denser development in California because of the demand for affordable housing or whatever. But then it's like, nobody's going to invest in the infrastructure to make it work. And then when when they're when that infrastructure is overburned, the 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 bottom line is going to be from the people deciding the stuff. You know, the urban planners and the in the state government and stuff. It's going to be basically don't use your car, right? Like, like it's basically like, oh, if the traffic's that bad, well then maybe take the public transport that we yeah. don't fucking have. Yeah, I mean we have buses, but nobody wants to take them because we have all these fucking undesirables here. And I'm not going to get into you know the details of that on the uh, Chargers fans, right? But, uh, Rams fans, bro. Rams ugh, fans. Ugh. But like, you you know, so that's not a very feasible solution, and we don't have anything nicer than that. I, I don't know. It's it's just stupid. And it, I mean, but that's that's California for you, right? Like the whole thing is like, you know, they they themselves don't want you to be a car driver anyway. Oh yeah. So like, so like any traffic complaint you have is kind of like this is kind of this like snide undercurrent of like, well, <laughs> you are traffic. Maybe maybe like you know. Drive an e bike, chud, or something, you know, it's like yeah. some shit like that, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, Oof. yeah. <laughs> even though like everything here is like 50 miles apart. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so funny to see them like uh, try and like force the European model of transit on us, despite the fact that like just going to like another part of your state is equivalent of like going cross country in Europe. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The, the drive up California itself is like, basically transversing like all of western europe it really is no i mean it literally is like just texas is the size of france so right what's uh you go to knoxville so that's that's 2166 miles what is oh yeah this drive i calculated it it's it's the equivalent of me basically going from like uh london or something to like it's like Moscow or some shit. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I, I looked. So San Diego to Knoxville is two two thousand one. But I I put Madrid to Moscow. That's kind of far. What's uh? That's a little. That's a little bit further. What's um? What am I thinking of? Berlin. Yeah. Comparable. Yeah. So right. so just to go. Not even coast to coast. By the way. Not even coast to coast. You're still eight and a half hours away from the coast in Knoxville. Right. You're still yeah. a decent way away. So just to go like 90% of the country is the is the equivalent from going to Madrid to Berlin. Right. Yeah. So like yeah, that's that's four country well actually maybe yeah, I think four countries. You go through uh yeah. and that's like the biggest of the European countries. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if you did that from like I don't know, what's the big city in Greece? Athens, Athens to like uh Krakow or something you gotta go through like 40 countries and i think half of them are still at war with each other so well, and that's what i was saying like like roughly like london to moscow or something yeah. is i think similar in like that transverses a lot of the eastern yeah. european countries too yeah it's it's insane it's like the whole like you know f cars culture is so stupid because i feel like it's just predominantly like smug europeans who've never been to america and literal children who've grown up in suburbs and don't understand like it's the same thing as like you know why do you why do you need a big truck? You know why why do you need a big truck? It's like because I gotta carry big shit, dude. <laughs> why do you think I need a big truck? You ever you I ever mean, you ever yeah. pulled a backhoe before? You ever tried to pull a backhoe with a Prius? Yeah, work. I mean it's mixed. That's a mixed bag on that one, right? Because like I agree, especially in the country, absolutely need something like that. But here in the suburbs, we do have a lot of people who like drive their like ridiculous raised trucks and it's like you you've never hauled anything in your life sure 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 but it's hard to separate the wheat from the chaff pristine pristine beds like nothing like obviously no signs of use um and and i mean obviously there's no way to police this so it's like kind of yeah that's what i'm saying but like but definitely there is the problem where like a lot of people on the roads just want to be higher up than everybody else yeah it's like kind of dumb yeah but it's like to hate it because of them is stupid because a majority of people and then they'll try and be like oh we know some people can work out of a ford ranger it's like okay well that's great for them but again have you ever tried pulling a backhoe yeah i know people are gonna say taylor how many times have you pulled a backhoe a lot more than you think okay 
a lot mm-hmm. more than you think. So now I'm going with. I, yeah. I don't think it's gonna be like instrumental up there, but having a four wheel drive truck in the in it's, the it's in the have. group is gonna be. It's gonna come in handy more often than more often than not. I think so. I mean, I'm not planning on doing like a lot of off roading because like mountain off roading, like you need like a Jeep type thing, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, but right. uh, it is always good to have one. Of course, a lot, you know, as because I was thinking like the the reason for me that I love having is because like okay, yeah, I can get out, you know, and if I have to with a Ford, but a lot of it's like it'd be it's really good to have like in natural disaster, like if something happened. But the thing is, like up in Maryville, you remove like almost every uh, almost every single natural disaster I've become accustomed to, right? Like tornadoes, yeah. not so much. Hurricanes, non-existent, more or less. I mean, the effects of it, yeah, but like the hard impact of it, no, not so much. Uh, I guess winds and cold, like snow damage. That's I. Well, I guess ice damage. Oh, it, but like even then, it's yeah, it's negligible. It's negligible. Damage. Yeah, it's negligible. So unless you're like really up in the hills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, one time we were up in a cabin, and it was February, and they were having like uh some front had moved through because it was like hot, like hot, hot, like upper seventies for in February, which is crazy. And there was like a like some system moving through, and like the cold was coming in, and you hit you had one of those big wind storms, and I mean it. That was it was it felt like being in Katrina again. It was awful. Mm-hmm. Um, shit was I mean blowing. we had those massive windstorms like a month ago or so. Yeah. And even then it wasn't really that bad. Well, this was up on a mountain. So, I mean, you can imagine how much worse it is there versus down in the valley. But yeah, no, it was yeah. So, I mean, yeah, a lot of the reasoning for that kind of is is moot, but again, still good to have so well i i know that if i was to ever go full in on the like off-grid stuff i've like fantasized about yeah i would probably wind up buying a truck of some kind oh so. yeah, yeah yeah well having the truck is going to be part is going to be good in part of my master plan where we be like our when our stuff takes off like heavily like heavily and we get like yeah. that big boomer like fan base and we can start leveraging those contacts right of people who live up there to let us use like their land for stuff right yeah like you know getting like you know get that one boomer fan who has like 1500 acres like you know like half mountain half plains right valley and like oh yeah you know can we uh you know yeah you can use it whenever you want it's like yes that's that's part of the master plan i will i can reveal that now but that's, sure. that's, that's that's like totally feasible too, because like boomers yeah. will absolutely like have way more sh- like space than they need, yeah. and then and then it's like you just have to get in with them. To like yeah. yeah, we got to We got to get the one guy that's got a bunch of land. We got to get the one guy that's got like a a lake house with a big nice boat, right? Like like I mean like right. a boat boat, not not a fishing yeah, boat, yeah. not even like a leisure boat, but like a boat boat, like with a like a cabin and stuff, like one of those. Yeah, we're gonna have to get that and uh, what else? Maybe a boomer with a helicopter, but I'm I'm like I'm fifty fifty on that one because I'm scared of heights. Because you don't want to get here because you don't. Because I don't want to get in the helicopter because I'm scared of heights. <laughs> uh, but y'all can, you two can yeah. get in it and we can get some killer footage. So, you know, something like that, or maybe like a like a prop plane or something. You know, it's just, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be. I le- will not get in a prop plane. Oh, I don't blame you. We are we're gonna be leveraging these these boomer contacts, these boomer fans. That's that's what we're gonna be doing. All right. We're gonna be like like a lot a lot of I'm not gonna say the CC word, but a lot of people who make you know YouTube stuff get into it and then they become like child groomers, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, right. allegedly. But we're going to be like the other way. We're going to groom old people <laughs> into letting us use their stuff. And so oh, that's going to good old elder abuse. I'm all for it. No, 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 no. It's 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 mutual. They get to hang around their, you know, the the youngins that they enjoy watching and we get to use free stuff. So. All right. Yeah. Well, what if I just want to commit elder abuse? I mean, I wouldn't. Because elders are usually, like, I know we crap on boomers, but, like, old people are generally pretty cool. Especially, like, up there. Like, y'all know, like, my my big thing is I love looking at, like, those marinas and stuff. 
and seeing like boomers hanging out and having fun. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's nice. It's, and I know, I know the boomer thing. Like, oh, we hate boomers. Yes, we hate boomers. They're awful. They ruin this country. But like, they didn't really. Other people who I won't get into, silly sure. billies, if you will, yeah. types, maybe, maybe, you know, people of some, some ethnic background. It could be white. White is an ethnicity. You know, something like that. Mm-hmm. They ruined our country. They just the the boomers just kind of like went along with it. Right. So I'm not I'm not too angry at the boomers for like you know indulging. I'm angry at the other people who should have violence committed against them in some sort of video game. I don't know which yet, mm-hmm. but in a video game, definitely maybe COD, maybe COD, maybe Modern no, Warfare. We, we we'll we'll get into COD later, but we don't play that game anymore. Well, that's why I was actually brought COD up so we could go ahead and tran- uh, transition. Uh, to something else specifically summer games fest man that was a letdown yeah that was I yeah was, it wasn't all that much hype in it it wasn't all that much hype yeah most of the stuff we saw had like already been announced and then oh my god i can't even begin to tell y'all how pissed i was that the whole like he was hyping up like hey you gotta stick around to the end you're not gonna believe what we're gonna show at the end it's gonna blow your mind it's gonna be it's gonna blow your dick off it's gonna blow your dick and balls off. You're not gonna have, you're you're gonna be a eunuch after this because it's gonna just utterly castrate you with amazingness, whole whole thing. And I'm like, all right, I, I believe you. I believe you, Geoff. I I I have faith in you. And what did he do with my faith, Prude? What did he do with my faith? I'm sure he let you down because that's what fucking Geoff. That's what Geoff does. He let me down because the big shocker was guess what. They're gonna finish the Final Fantasy VII remake. I know. I was floored. I was like, uh, surely Sony and Square Enix, the video game juggernauts who made seventy-two trillion dollars off of the first half of the remake, they're not gonna. They're not gonna finish it. They're just gonna drop yeah, it. Three part. Is it? Oh my god. That's even worse. I feel like they were fully milking that shit. I don't think it's just two. Oh my god. Oh, that makes me even angrier. But yeah, no, it, it didn't even look that... Okay, listen. We talked about this during the presentation, but like, I'm not a PlayStation kid. I was a Nintendo kid. I'm like, I will bing bing wahoo with the best of them, right? Like, Zelda, that gets my heart racing. I see Mario fucking punch a block, and I lose it. I go feral. You have to, I, you yeah. have to, call, you have to call special people special like medical people to constrain me if i see samus yeah. if i so if i see samus which it's not even true because i didn't even like metroid that much right but you know what i mean like if i see if i see a switch all right i'm just going like i will kill the nearest child in minecraft i was oh, in fortnite actually um mm-hmm. and i will steal it because that's just i i am i am the bing bing wahooist of them all playstation all right. don't really care never played a final fantasy thought it was kind of stupid um Literally, my only like connection to Final Fantasy in any respect is that one web comic from like 2005 that I can't remember the name of, but it used like Final <laughs> Fantasy. Do you know which one I'm talking about? <laughs> no, but it sounds like a web comic thing to do. Man, which one? Oh, I'll have to look it up while I'm talking. Final Fantasy characters web comic. Uh, 8-bit theater. Yeah, 8-bit theater. Mm. Yeah, that's my only connection. Now I want to now I want to reread Eight Bit Theater. Damn it, damn it, Taylor. Um, that's my only connection. Don't don't give a crap about it otherwise. But oh my god, it ran all the way to 2010. Holy crap, that's cringe. Not the point. Uh, so like in seven, like because that's the big one for like late millennials early zoomers right because yeah. i was like that was the one from their childhood but i never played it so i don't care yeah so yeah, for them to yeah. hype it up i just like because i was already let down enough when he started explaining i was like oh this is gonna be obsidian skyrim killer well all mm-hmm. right well at least i'll get to see it and then then you see not i almost said link what's his name cloud yeah. First off, that's a stupid name well, i think i think they started with like sephiroth or something oh that yeah. was it yeah you saw sephiroth and i was like oh god so, I think the biggest thing to come out of it was the Lies of P demo announcement. Yeah. That was really the only, like, to me, that was the most interesting thing, uh, which I did download, and I did play it a little bit. Did you, 
No, I haven't really had time for that. That's but. true. Well, you, but you've seen it though. I have it downloaded as yeah, but I haven't played. But yeah, it looks good. It look it it looks good and it's good. It's it's very like and we said during the stream this is on the stream too. Like, it's very Bioshocky, like Bioshock Infinite. Like it, it's heavily. It feels like that. It, it partly because I guess all the enemies are like automatons. Um, yeah, like it's they, like, re- like relatively similar in terms of like the overall time that set in. I guess you know like right. the cultural motifs and stuff. I'm looking at Google, and they've got like their thing celebrating Willy Ninja. Who the hell is Willy Ninja? Uh, Am I gonna regret? Was a dancer known as the Godfather of voguing? He was a staple in the Harlem <laughs> ballroom scene. They're making this up. Yeah, this, this is not this isn't is, a real person. This is oh no, I, yeah, I've seen this dance style before. It's just, it's really stupid. But whatever. Sorry, off point. Fucking Lizzo bullshit. My problem with Liza P is that every time I hear it, it sounds like it sounds like a shitty like singer like eliza p eliza, eliza p yeah yeah it's like oh my god did you see the latest drop from eliza p kind of kind of sounds like a heck and fetty reference doesn't because because p p does kind of lie oh you do be god. lying touch, dude touch grass literally touch grass dude no, fetty, fetty sucks fetty, fetty I sucks to. i don't want to fetty i'm going to force you to touch grass i'm going I, listen I i'm just mind. gonna i'm just gonna say White House V3, I will be at the domain level blocking all Fetty sites. So you, I will force you onto LTE. I'm gonna VPN pass. Yeah, it. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna force you to find workarounds for it. I'm not that that shit. Oh, uh, oh, we won't be having that shit in my house, son. No. Uh, you know the implication that as a foregone thing, Tay is the webmaster of the house. That's. It's an interesting presumption. Well, I mean, I've got all the infrastructure, man. I've got it all set up. And to be fair, well, I know, like, I know, no, 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 I know it can be done otherwise, but I am not redoing. <laughs> I'm not redoing all that shit. That shit's coming with me, and I'm plugging it in, and I'm praying it works. Oh yeah, yeah. Really, like with wide server and like Pi and all that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not this. I'm not gonna try. Well, to yeah. Do hopefully, it again. it's not dependent on like particular network configurations or something. Well, I mean, it's just like the port forwarding and all that stuff is just like Mac assignments. And it's just all it's like it's not hard. It's just tedious stuff. And I hate doing it. That's like little that's like little ticky tacky stuff. Why I can never be a computer toucher because I would just get angry and start screaming at it. Right. Many such cases, by the way. I mean, I think I think when you're doing it commercially, like you have yeah. a bit of a system in place. That's true. Know, like it's not as chaotic. I will say this. Like I, I'm I'm like I'm not excited about like when I look through Zillow and then I find like a banger rental place and then you run it through like the broadband database and it's like you know you can get viasat and i'm like god dang it mm. i'm so sp- like i've only had fiber for like not e- uh six months six and a half months maybe even let's be generous but i'm so spoiled on it now and now like i, I can't even like think about living somewhere that doesn't have fiber now uh, it's just like I, mean, it's- I, I could work with the Starlink speeds. I could I could work with that. That would be fine, but I'm I'm pretty sure that has, that is like care and, and to be fair again, I mean like because of our shift and everything, we don't really need like big hosting capacity. But it is it sure is nice. It sure is nice. I mean we we just generally want up in general because yeah. uploading shit with bad speed is a bitch. Yeah. yeah. And it, it's just also nice to like have have that capability. Like the cloud hosting stuff on site is very nice, especially because we'll, you know, there's gonna be a lot of field stuff we're doing, and it would be nice to be able to kind of like dump that in real time to the best of our capacity back to, you know, a home server. So, in the event that something does happen, because it's happened, it's happened before with me literally within the past month, where I literally almost lost all of a bunch of stuff I'd shot. Well, uh, like I said, I mean, certain situations can be hedged against by having yeah. a particular setup in the field too. Right, so. but it's just it's it's nice having that, and it's just ha- being able being able to host stuff is nice. But like I said, it's it's not pivotal. Tony's thing though, that's true. Like we got to have something that has like extremely stable upload because you well, know some of things like higher higher speeds tend to correlate to more stability too. In yeah, my experience, sometimes. Now, so. so. 
God, yeah, that. But it's just so frustrating. Like it's because it's so it's so hit or miss up there. Like some neighborhoods will have it and some won't. It's just kind of crazy. Yeah. But yeah, uh, because I mean, we like you know when when V three. I mean, our our streaming because I kind of love what you were talking about and and fish tank obviously reignited for both of us. But like the idea of having like some sort of like twenty four hour stream or something right. is kind of cool. I like even even if it's just like some little novelty thing that we have like on a hosted web page or something. I just think I just think that's kind of cool. Like, you know. Yeah. But there will all right. There will be like, like let's see. So the definites are there's definitely gonna be the Saturday streams. Saturday will be an all stream day stream for me and Tony from live from the live from the White House couch. Definitely. Live from the White House couch, play by play commentary from the hottest college football games, Taylor and Tony. Maybe Sunday. I'm not really, I don't really give a shit about NFL. He's the big NFL guy. So, I mean, maybe. But then, yeah, it, it would, it would kind of be cool to have like, you know, like a Summer Games Fest, something like that too. That live streamed from the couch. Gonna be a lot of couch streams, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting at. So, yeah, I think I think that's kind of cool, because like the way we do it is cool, but it's like, <sighs> like anybody can do that. Like any, that's the problem with like kind of this format that we're doing right now. Right, yeah, so it being indoors and talking, it's is... so saturated. Like there, in, yeah. every every friend group has their show right every friend group has their show because you can with discord and stuff i feel like we edge ourselves a little further by having it live because if you've yeah. if you've ever noticed like the ones that are successful are alive in one location um yeah it's probably not because of that but it it sure does help because like nobody nobody really gives it like here's the thing i'm not saying like it's bad doing it remotely but because anyone can do it, it's there's just such saturation that, and so much of it is shit. Like we're good, we're real good at this. Like I watch sure. these vods back, and I'm like, wow, that was funny. That was a that was a ha ha tee hee moment. Right, that was good. right, yeah. But the problem is, like, how do other people know that they don't? Because they scroll through Twitch or Kick. Well, and, yeah, and they see three avatars on screen, and they're like, "I don't, I'm not watching." That's that. fair, and also those people are probably tasteless retards, you know. But we know the good stuff, and we know true. Good stuff. But tasteless retards pay the bills. Well, anyways, my point that I was gonna get at was, uh, I think for like doing this side of things successfully, it helps to be known for something else first, you know. Oh and, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that that's where the other activities would matter. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, I'm all, well, not all my eggs, but most of my eggs are in the name pending project, which, boy, howdy, we have not made any progress of that, have we? No, uh, um, no. I, I have another project I'm working on, and it's really, it's really frustrating because, like, I came up with, I came up with a name with three seconds for it, and it yeah. was actually, it was actually pretty good, and like, it, it had a whole, like, it's, it's distinguishable, it's catchy. And it has even has like a reasoning behind it. And I was like, why couldn't I do that with like the thing I'm actually like, com like I'm actually committed to and interested. Oh my God. I don't know what, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I think, I think the series name was killer, but mm -hmm. you're right. That can't really, that's not a really good overarching collective name. I've had some ideas that have come up, come and gone about that. Nothing, nothing that's stuck in my mind, but like there's a couple over the past few days. I was like, yeah, maybe I didn't, I didn't mention it. And then I forgot. Oh, you, so you don't have it. You don't have any, you can just kind of shoot off real quick. And then I'll see if any of them come back to me. Now I'm thinking about it again, but I like, try and like, I try and like pull out my phone real quick and like, just if something it. like came to me and I was like, that's the one I would absolutely yeah. like, or if I think it's a really compelling one. I was even thinking about like the media group name. And I was like looking up other acronyms and even the other stuff that I'd want to call it. Like that's all already kind of taken. Yeah. Which is annoying. Acronym stuff's rough. Like uh, why, like a wide media group, WMG, obviously that's a huge media group. 
But I was like, maybe yeah. we, maybe I could go with my original idea, Bicca Media Group. Nope, BMG's also taken. I don't hate SMG, Swift Media Group, because I mm. don't think that's actually taken, weirdly enough. And you can also use that acronym, and you could work in like an SMG gun into your logo. Mm. I think that'd be cool. Like an MP5. And then that's all that's all that's all is my master plan to get that Heckler and Coke sponsorship. Right. When we come when we become gun VTuber or YouTubers. Gun VTuber, what? Huh. Is hmm. there something there? Nah. Like How the would agency you have to be the, 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 the like brown girls. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Robot Tawny. <laughs> Robot uh, Tawny has arrived. <laughs> Or as I call him, Robo Tony. Robo Tony. It's That's like it's like a, it's like a Mecha Godzilla type situation. Yeah. Mecha Tony. To mm. to to be Tony. No, that doesn't work. There's something there. What? Tony. There you go. There he is. You're good. You were roboting for a minute. Yeah, you were roboting pretty hard. Fucked up. Yeah. Well, hey, appropriate considering we were just talking about internet. I can tell you that much. Where wherever we go, it ain't gonna be spectrum. Cause they suck. I hear ever like everyone I know that is on spectrum. It's nothing but bad things to say about them. It's pretty, it's pretty stupid how in this country, like every other internet company has a reputation where it's like, no, that's not usable. Yeah, and it's crazy how like in in like an inverse of a lot of other things, it's like the small time companies like TC. I have zero complaints about TC. None. Not I couldn't even begin to uh, even contemplate. It hiccups like for like 10 seconds like once a week that's kind of annoying but hell that could even just be something on my side yeah that yeah that's the ideal is that we find somewhere that it is like is serviced by like one of these collectives which they have up there i, I saw a news uh video from it a year or so ago um they're doing the same thing that's happening here like one of their energy co-ops is running fiber through a bunch of places I can't tell you where. I don't. I don't remember exactly what it was. So far, it hasn't been anywhere I've looked. Dandridge, I think, was one of them. Unfortunately, Dandridge while Kino is not really ideal for this for the for the for the lads. I mean, if it was a situation where proximity to like reliable work no longer mattered for yeah. any number of reasons, then sure, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's kind of a shame. The entrance to downtown Knoxville is an in, insurmountable difference. It's just not ideal. Well, for me, Dandridge is just kind of a uh, more, I'd kind of want to buy my house in that area, just yeah. near the lake kind yeah. of deal. Well, that one place we looked at that was right on the interstate of Dandridge, I think that was kind of the best option because it was, well, right on the interstate. So getting in Knoxville was no big deal. Um, I know we've talked about it like Oak Ridge. And Oak Ridge I, would be fine for me. Oak Ridge would be fine. Decent jobs there, and I like the yeah. area around it. I just don't kind of like it's. I don't, I don't know. I just don't like. I'm, I'm still kind of like focused on Maryville and Seymour, personally. Well, I, if you're talking because of like proximity to the Smokies or something, but you're not that much further. For, uh, and, you know. I, it is not even just that. It's just like even just into Knoxville, it's it's easier. I mean, I mean it's, Oak Ridge is pretty easy in the Knoxville. It's like one. Yeah, part. I suppose so. That's true. It's, yeah, it's not really any further out than like the far side of Maryville, really. That's and, true. Uh, that's true. And I mean, it's possible that the traffic's lesser coming from Oak Ridge too. Yeah, that's like true. Because I mean, it's less of a through route. Tony lives. I mean, he's kind of far out of not Maryville to begin with. Not far out, but you know, out from well, Knoxville yeah. a little bit. So a little bit. I'm on the southern end. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, 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 and it is cheaper out there. It is much cheaper out there, and they cheaper have and they have decent job amenities. options. Yeah. Proof's just trying and to get that Fed job. That's what's going on there. Well, uh, it would be nice. Government work is all right. Man, imagine doing security work at Oak Ridge. Hmm. That'd be nuts, dude. Um, and then, like I said, I like I like some of the naturey places up there around Oak Ridge too. So then, then you can sell cool. all the state secrets to Russia. Well, if, if it pays, it pays. Hypothetically. Well, Illegal. if you're going to get charged with treason, at least do it when, like, you're not paying half the rent. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe make that a maybe make that a later on thing where we're not. We're well, not no, here's the thing. I, I get caught doing it, but then, like, I set the narrative ahead of time so you guys can look like like national heroes who exposed me. Or oh, something. right, 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 right. Yeah. But 
I don't want my like life legacy to be the guy who ratted out his friend. So <laughs> same. Yeah. So that doesn't really work for me either. Oh well. Yeah. The 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 thing is like so much is in flux, man. I feel like it, a lot of it's gonna kind of right like because like right now the path forward is is not clear right it's the end goal is very clear but how to get there isn't super clear i feel like it's going to start clearing up once you're there like well the, I'll, the, I'll be able to account yeah. more for my portion of things yeah. once i'm there because i'll rapidly start to understand what's feasible for me in terms of the next step in terms of right. like like once i'm physically able to understand the area from ground level yeah. and once i know what my work situation's like and uh, uh, among other things, you know, like that yeah. will certainly help. And it's even kind of going to be helpful just for like you two to kind of be like on the ground and like seeing how the dynamic is going to work in person. Because obviously, as it is now, the dynamic is is just superb. Uh, but, you know, things change in person. I'm not I'm, I'm not trying to say you two are going to hate each other. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just no, like, I mean, just to the... see how it works in person. Yeah. And like if if like the dynamic even kind of works, because like I'm assuming, you know, whatever, uh, like before I can even get up there, I'm, I'm sure y'all will start doing some sort of kind of very little minuscule kind of content in some respect. I mean, I could I could bring my box of Cheetos mac and cheese and we could do a, a stream <laughs> eating Cheetos mac and cheese. Yeah. But, you know, even even like some kind of not the bigger stuff, obviously, like I don't I'm not expecting y'all to go out and start doing like whole like big artistic works of like you know i can't think of anything off the top of my head it was but... natural to me so i might not be able to help it <laughs> yeah okay but uh you know just even smaller stuff like even i mean even just around maryville i feel like there's a lot of content to be made you know stuff I'm like that uh or ideas for content can certainly form because some consensus that's about true. places that are worth that's true specifically reviewing or investigating as well right? yeah and that's and that's kind of what i'm getting at like i think some of like the review content could still go ahead and like kind of start getting pumped out just to kind of yeah. kind of get like that little trickle of interest coming in just kind of get the name out there which we don't have the name yet so that's not great fuck that name well, is I mean, really key yeah I mean, if nothing else, like even if it's not necessarily a group thing, like if there's any solo content that came to mind, I mean, I already have my particular channel and brand ideas yeah. kind of ready to go. That, that just... doesn't hurt. So, yeah, even even the solo careers, because you can, you know, once you start building that, you can be like, hey, we're also doing this. That that helps. Yeah. Bit. The the Maryville monsters. That's so locational. Fuck. That's also just a bad name. You're a bad name. I'll say it. You're I will name. say it. that name is fucking garbage. I'm sorry. Dude. God God's chosen schizo warriors. Call ourselves the uh, esoteric entities. Oh, that's terrible. Hmm. Hmm. This sucks. Oh, the, the 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 Gnostic gnomes. Gnostic gnomes. Yeah. yeah that's pretty I cool. don't hate it. <laughs> but it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't have to make well, sense. It has to be catchy. I don't think it it doesn't need to make sense. Yeah, but you also have to like that's also the name of a band, so keep thinking. Is it really oh, It really stupid. is. Well, let's look at the stream of them in Whoa, in Minecraft. Oh, it's a German. Ugh. Uh, they're not even people. Yeah. Yeah, and their footprint isn't huge, but it's one of those things where it's like, it's just it's, big it's enough. So like, you would rather not with have us. to deal with it. Yeah. And you're right. It doesn't have to make sense, but it also has to like be like normie palatable. And I feel like when you start dealing with anything like even fringe religious, like, like and I know like a bunch of normies are going to know what Gnosticism sure. is, but, you know, it might be one of those things like they name themselves after something satanic because you got to remember we are dealing with Southerners. So, well, sure. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that's the only demographic that we're targeting, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I'll keep thinking. 
fading fast on Friday. Uh, huh? I don't know. I'm just saying words out loud. Yeah, that that kind of comes off as like druggy shit. Though. It does. Yeah. See. It's just it's so rough, like removing anything locational from it. I I don't have a problem with that part. It's just finding something that I actually like that like. No, but mind. it's true. You don't like unless it's unless it's like. Hmm. You guys ever? Uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys ever play, like played soccer or like any other team sport as a kid, but like finding like when there would be the part at the start of the season where you'd like you're, the kids would like pick their name for their team and like vote on it or whatever what you got to pick the name you got for your to team? pick your name yeah 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 in 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 kids soccer leagues you could well, pick your team name here here and down here you got called in like april and they said ma'am your son is gonna be playing for the cardinals and that was the end of the conversation okay well every season we got to pick our names that's right crazy fucking communist i remember i remember the only one that i can really remember right now I think we had one season where we were like Blue Crush or something. Oh, God. And then we had another. The better one was when we were the Golden Gengars. There's a I web... mean, that's better, but still. <laughs> There's a website that you can name generator. Let's just let's leave this up to like complete and total chance. How do... let's, let's, go, let's name our collective. Uh, Here's a round. Here's it. Uh huh. Here's a band name generator. Oh, uh, so we could call ourselves the uh, the Round Ear Elves. Quiet Cream Day. Mm. King King Cream. Ooh ooh, that sounds like <laughs> a porn star. Well, we are uh, we are the King Crackers. King Cream. And that's also taken by a. Uh, well, the, the, it doesn't. There's actually no way a... that hasn't been used by some people before. Yeah. Two inch you know. spoons. <laughs> I like I like my bed panic. <laughs> my bed panic. <laughs> Saving Dudley, purely cream, kissing twin. Ooh, I don't. Mm. This is a very small pool of words. I'm seeing a lot of angel in here. My heart, yeah. your thighs. Oh my lord. Mm. Puddle of angel. Lump angel. This this does lead to like perhaps a good idea of running some queries to like an fucking chat gpt to come up with names I, I do like the uh i do like the quiet dudley project like it's kind of nonsensical but also sounds official yeah like, I, I, like that kind of naming scheme like not necessarily that one but like like the, like uh when you we, when you kind of name something or refer like in fiction this happens where you refer to an event that has a ridiculous name but like it sounds kind of believable mm -hmm. like that sort of naming scheme i like uh let me let me let me just keep running through it. Ten times Yummy with dust. pointless summer. I don't hate that. Well, you know, maybe maybe save the good ones. Yeah, and that's well, it's an album by a yeah. This okay, this doesn't have a big. So. I'm not too concerned about that. Pants ten. Hmm. Let's, um, uh, Dudley keeps coming up. Yeah. Um, well, it's because I, I, I think there's like five words in this fucking list of random names. Point. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to write these down in the channel. Pointless summer. I actually really like that. I don't know why. The love of pants. That's weird. Heart fade. No, the uh, heart army. That sounds terrible. Thing. Yeah, because you see, it just fills it out with all this like random shit, and I think Dudley kept getting thrown in there somewhere. Mix wet stick. May. I don't know. Wet wet mm. May. Chandler's wet stick. Yikes. Nootsica. That's a weird one. Uh, but Chandler. The Chandler is wrong. <laughs> Between the <laughs> I, I kind of like that. That's funny. <laughs> That's not bad. But Chandler's I'm wet stick. Hmm. Huh. Wet stick. Why to the blue nudes? Yeah, unfortunately, some of these you kind of got to like veer away from them because like you can very, very much tell that they're parroting something. Um, yeah, this this actually kind of sucks. Can I go? What is what's are there some more generators? Rapper name, blog name, villain name, house, Should business name. Hmm. 
maybe oh my mm. god uh it's like asking for names so it's it's fitting using names fitting schmitting okay that's goop industries goop industries dupe industries oh sorry i didn't even as the crows advise huh that's kind of, that's kind of like english i kind of like it though I don't hate that either, but yeah, it is kind of English. It's, it's like well, it's, it's like I'm not sure if old English or oh, English. Like, man, I just had a great idea, but then I realized like I don't the SEO for it would be pretty rough. As the crow flies, right? Which that, is that a, that one would work thematically, but but it's a, yeah, I mean it's a, it's a southern idiom. Hello, don't auto. As the crow flies. It's apparently the name of a Netflix show. Of course it is. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Fuck you, Netflix. It's also like multiple YouTube channels. Yeah. Fit on the And fence. by multiple, I mean a lot of yeah. YouTube channels. Yeah, I, I knew that was going to be the problem, but it just... It, it sounded Muhammad. Nolan and Don Ball Unlimited. <laughs> Ball Brothers. Ball Unlimited. I kind of like that. Engineering, Shmi Engineering. Okay. Savior Care. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we're getting anywhere with this. Is there another one? Team? No. There's one in there that was Care Will Be Blood. What is it? Like there's parroting the name. Oh, this is. These are terrible. Dennis Scottish. Oh, that's so terrible. Yeah, these suck. Uh, why is it so hard? House. Mm -hmm. oh, this could be interesting. No, I was wrong. Primrose view. Hmm. Although I don't hate like it's like something view. But Let's call ourselves the uh, the moist misters. View from the top is also good, but it, like again, I feel like that's one yeah. of those. that's just so ubiquitous. Like this is the problem. Like all the really good ones that I can think of are like way too ubiquitous. Well, I feel like that's kind of the problem that you're trying to think of like a proper thing and not just uh, just nonsense. Sounds, right. Like uh, this is nonsense, but like it kind of sounds can. Yeah. Hmm. Ghost Town. Oh, these are descriptions. What about other names? After what the fuck is an afterlife name? Attack move name. That's a, that's that's a good one for a whole different reason. Chivalric order names. May, listen, listen, hear me out. Oh no, never mind. Don't hear me out. The soldiers of the knot. Hmm. The mm -hmm. sounds like a furry thing, kind of. But... It does, yeah. The Oak Templars. I feel like maybe the Oak something. Hmm. No. Because that starts getting like too close to like the Oak Ridge Boys. All right. Why, why is this so hard? Uh, again, I, th I think it's t too sensical from the angle that we're yeah. using here. Um, I'm telling you, you're looking at these dumb websites. You, you got to pull up the AI. No, here we go. K-pop group name generator. Here we go. We got it. Oh my god, this is just letters and numbers. God hate K-pop. That's kind of what they are. That's what will be the, uh, the 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 bountiful beholders. And I even thought like because because I saw there uh, put a political party. I was like maybe like you could even go severe county justice party thing. But then again, the problem with that is is we're still tied to the joke of parroting neo Nazis. So that's probably not the best right. thing to do. Right. <laughs> yeah. And it's also a place. Right. World Progression League. That sounds awful. United Welfare. This sucks. Yeah, okay, what's uh how do I talk to Chat GPT? I have no idea. I tat chat talk GP, to GPT chat is like a embedded GPT. one. Oh yeah, Google has one. Oh, this is an extension. Uh, so there's a website for it if you go back. Like if you go to uh um I think what your particular search phrasing might be bringing up. Like if you just if you just do Chat GPT, it might. Uh, is it this? If you, on the actual OpenAI website, there's a text thing that you can do. Yeah. Oh, you gotta log in. Well, you might have to, you know. 
Oh, you I can do a little okay. something. I'll do it up here. Okay, Whoa, hashtag leak. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing it again. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. Sorry, Pomo. I I've... screenshotted it and now it's leaked forever. Sorry, Pomo. I failed you once again. I don't know why. I mean, it's it's like a... Oh, I verify my phone number. Why? Oh, I do. Yeah, I'm going to cover this up so I'm not betraying Pomo for as long. Do I put my phone number in? Are we... Yeah, why not? Verify your phone numbers. Oh my god, then there's a fucking Kapska! How did this Kapska even work? <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, dude, Kapska has gotten like It's it's so funny because like the original like donkey thing where like you had to play like Dark Souls to finish the case. It's getting there, man. It's getting there. My God! So you had to do the captcha, then you have to, then they send you the thing on your phone. Why do I have six? Oh, okay, we're fine. Can I can I talk to the computer now? Can I talk to the demon now? Allegedly, yes. Uh, they kind of are demons. I don't disagree with you. All right, what what are we asking Chad GPT here? Uh, be like, give us a catchy name for Creative Collective that isn't bound to a location. Let's start with that. Oh, catchy name. I don't know about that, but all right. Creative we gotta start the conversation somewhere. No, uh, yeah, Creative Collective oh, that isn't. What'd you say? Isn't bound to a location. Bound to location. Whatever. It's, we'll see what they yeah. say. I mean, it's a conversation. Vibraverse. That, that sounds... sounds like a sex toy. <laughs> Thank you. Art Muse like... Makers? Muse Makers isn't bad for a documentary thing, actually. Yeah, it's not bad. Those aren't bad, but the uh... collective makes documentaries about the Appalachians. Oh, Peak stories. Ridge Wonders? That's not terrible. Range Roots? I, I like all those. Docu Peaks? Like, those aren't bad. Yeah. These are really good. Oh my God. Fucking these. This, I this told is a you demon. Today, I this is a demon. I'm speaking to a demon right now. Maybe ask uh, if they can make him quirkier. Can they, can they quirk him up? Work here. With Moloch live on stream. <laughs> I can, look, I can feel my soul coming out. Uh, and, and make it sound uh strong and handsome. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Doc, you holler. <laughs> oh, I kind of like Ridge Ramblers. I Ridge Rambles. That is not bad. Let's let's look some of these up on YouTube real quick. Yeah, because that's not too locational, I guess, if we end up going with something like that. Ridge Rambles has jack shit. This doesn't have anything. Mount Mountain Vibes sounds good, but the problem is like that there's no way that doesn't bring up. And like, I also really don't like the, I word, the word vibes. vibes. Yeah, it's taken. They have 10,000 subscribers now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but they're like they're like like hiker hikers, like Rocky Mountain, like shit like that. Okay. Hillbilly Tales. That's not bad, but that sounds like... It could be a little yeah. insulting to the people we... I like how they took what you said and literally just threw Quirky in one of the fucking names. <laughs> well, you know. If you were very hiking specific, Hike and Hauler would not be bad. Uh... Mountain... Ooh, Mountain Whispers. Again, Wonder Rustics. Hmm. Ridgeline Reels, Apple Flicks, no, Hikeography. No, eh. Hike and Holler. <laughs> I mean, that's not our thing, but I love that name. You're right. What was it? Ridge Rambles. I'm writing that down. I ask them to make it a little bit more esoteric. It's a demon, so it should be good at that. It's 
<laughs> we'll see. We'll probably just include esoteric in the name. Uh, Enigma trails. Yeah. Ar- Arcade Appalachians. This is, this is like a Celestial like a like a contour. These are RPG campaigns. Oh no! Hold on. Arcane Appala- Appalachians is not bad. Yeah. That's I don't not. Ha- I don't bad. hate a lot of these to be honest, but. Hidden Harmonies? That sounds like really hippie, but that would be good if you were a hippie channel. Uh, what about a Hidden Apple? Well, let's check. I'm sure that's taken. That's hidden. 100%. That's that's very on the nose, I feel like. But you know so, what? It's not. It's not really. Oh, well, yeah, but it like, is I, very I know we're, specific. I, we're, we're seeing this because it's like it's trying to like mesh two things together. I think if there was something specifically called Hidden Appalachia. Right. That's true. Yeah, but I don't like hidden. If I'm being real, I don't like hidden Appalachia as much as I like some of the other ones. Right, the other ones were a little bit more vague in a way that I liked. I think right. like they're. I'm still gonna weird. write it down because I don't hate it, and I'm the one. I think a lot of the ones so. involving the word ridge were good. Uh, yeah, and stuff like that. Um, Mist. So, we we don't want to put smoky in it because obviously we're just like we're it's the Appalachians right. as a whole. <laughs> veiled veiled valleys. Veiled Appalachians? Do you just not like the end? In, in, in... I, d- I don't like having Appalachians in the name personally. Yeah, wow. I agree. It's just a little too bound to that one range, you know. I would say that, like, maybe a name themed around the i like the imagery of Mountain Mysteries is not bad. So, like, maybe we could prompt it for that. But like general, general, general mountain rustic memories, yeah, like. Nebula whispers. Yeah, I feel like we're. This is getting like a little RPG. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, uh, uh, maybe like let's bring it back down to earth with a little bit of grit, you know. Range Revelation right. Summit Chronicles. That sounds like a church thing, though. Yeah. Peak lineage. Ridge, yeah. Ridge Rambles. That's not a bad name. The only problem is that sounds like a Dollywood ride. Right. I feel like there's like I feel like there's just an element we haven't introduced here, but like we're getting good suggestions. I feel like there's another like there's something there's something that we're missing still. Yeah. I'm gonna Um, all right here, hold on. Let's see if I can expand this other than just two words. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, make them longer. Oh, oh, echoes of the ridges. Hmm. Okay. Oh, well, I don't right. hate that. Let's, let's write it down. You know, that's okay. not a bad one. Peaks and Chronicles. That's not terrible, but that sounds like a special on PBS. It sure does. It does. <laughs> uh, Valley and Focus. That also sound. That sounds like a 2020 special. And also, like, I don't really want to do valleys. We probably will cover valleys, though. Oh, yeah. Wander, wander lust through the Appalachians. That also, that sounds like a Nat Geo special. That right. Sounds like something my mom. Would and watch. I don't really like the word wander lust, to be honest. Here, I'm gonna tell. I really like the word ridges. Keep pumping some out with the word ridges. But several words long. Rhythmic ridges expo- explorations. That's interesting. Ridge, ridge reveries, reveries unveiled. Be- no. Whispering Ridge Chronicle. I don't hate that. Uh, Tales of the Enchanted Ridges. That now that sounds like an RPG. Beyond the Misty Ridges. Eh. What about like? What about like? Ridges. So like we need to we need to like prompt it to like keep doing what it's doing, but make it sound like an ironic artistic collective. I feel like that might yield some funny results. Ironic for a YouTube audience. I don't know. Hipster ridges. <laughs> no, these suck. <laughs> I took it way too literally. <laughs> yeah. Eccentric ridge. Wanderlost and ridges. That's not terrible. 
I'm not going to write it down, but uh, I feel yeah, like that's the know. one diamond there in the rough. <sighs> Catchy okay. and funny. Incorporate some Japanese. <laughs> Ridges and chuckles. <laughs> that's stupid I hate that I laughing at the ridges the ridges rumble that sounds like a spiral level Ridge, ridges and giggles galore ask yeah. it to include uh, acronyms for the names no like, no, <laughs> oh, I just to see no. Do it. ridges gone wild <laughs> that's kind of funny um uh, hmm I feel like I feel like Ridge Rambles was on to something. Mm -hmm. I'd say that. R Ridge like reviewers. <laughs> like on to something with Ridge Rambles. Let's go back to that. Roaming the Ridge Ram. Oh, now he's just giving me shit that has like rambling and Ridge in it. Maybe Ram we need to shorten the suggestions again. Maybe. Roaming the Ridge Rambles, ri Rambling Tales of the Ridges. I don't hate that, but there's just... It, it just still doesn't have that je ne sais quoi. You know what I mean? It, it's all it's all sounding just a little too... It, it's all, I don't know. It's like... Well, you're asking a computer. Yeah. Right. And I can't, I can't say, like, I'm sorry, computer demon. Can you give me an answer that has a little bit more qualia to it? I mean, can't. you can quite literally or type that. I? I, w I feel like that's... that's... Make, make, it, make it more evocative. Yeah. <laughs> make them more evocative. I feel like you're being too nice to the computer, Demon. I am. Serene Echo. No. Well, these are some fucking RPG names. This is we've gotten we've gotten to. I, I I do like names that are longer and include a colon or semicolon though. I feel like it, like I I love long kind of yeah ridiculous names. The thing is but, though, uh, I mean, you kind of got to like keep that in mind that it really needs to be no more than four words, and two of those sure. need to be like adjectives. So yeah, this is. We've gotten to fantasy again. Bring it back down to earth. Trailblazers, tales of Ridge Rambles. These just, these, yeah, these like these now these literally sound like documentaries, right? Hmm. This is frustrating. Even even like I feel I like feel like this is. Uh... I feel like this is the right track. Maybe we circle back in the future. Yeah, I feel. Yeah, this is this is definitely and like get it get it on a fresh thread and so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Locked into some. What is like? Is there? Is there, a, is there like a, a like what's plus? What do you get with plus? Faster response. Oh, I don't care about any of that shit. I just I thought there was like a a cap to this. Like, what can you? Do? You know what? Fuck it. While we're here, what can you do with Chat GPT? I'm gonna say. I guess I don't need to delete that. You can uh, ask it to write you an entire script. A script for a Lost reboot, but directed by David Lynch. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> Whoa, Here, I, there's uh, some new adjectives appearing in this prompt I did. Let me. There's there's way one. too much Kate dialogue in this. I'm not reading all this. I'm going to post my prompt results here in the future. Okay. Let's see what we got here. It's a longer list than the ones you were getting. So Mountain like... Chronicle Peak Perspectives. Ah, again, that sounds too PBS. But but Mountain Chronicles, that's... I feel like you could even... T like Here's the thing. You could even take some of these and add like of and the to them and really make yeah. something work. I like, for example, the format of the Alpine lens. Like, I might change the words, but like that format, I like. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Alpine is not a bad adjective. Uh, Skyward Stories. Is, it sounds a little Zelda, but I kind of yeah. kind of like that. Um, the Mountain Muse. That unfortunately, I do like the Muse. Sounds like a cafe word, huh? That sounds like a cafe. 
Okay, well, I kind of like that word for what we're doing, but uh, I, can, I can keep seeing if there's... Oh, you can, like, regenerate responses, too, so that's yeah. interesting if you want to. Hmm. Yeah. This is this is this is the this is this is the avenue. Like this is this is this is the go-to. You know, I think that I think this is. I'm also not gonna mess around with this demon anymore because it might literally kill me. Yeah. What if you just ask it? Are you Moloch? I'm pretty sure. Like I'm pretty sure it'll say like, oh, that's an anti-commit anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. In fact, you Moloch. That's an anti-commit. Oh, oh, he literally says no. I'm just a computer. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I'm going to delete that one. Okay, well, uh, I feel like, considering we started talking about Moloch, I feel like now might be the time to transition into After Dark on Kick, which means uh, we're going to, like, it's uh, it's like a 10-minute break because I need to go pee. So 11.30, we'll go live on Kick. Um, so... Unless y'all have an objection to that, I'm just, I'm playing chat at GBT now, so okay. you know. I think that I feel like that's going to be like a hard majority of. My point is, it's like I I know I, I as as I guess the de facto producer of this show, I've learned to kind of realize when we've gotten kind of into that, like we're just kind of like we don't have a structured conversation anymore. We've just found right. something to like autistically focus on, and we're just going to talk about that for two hours. <laughs> that's the time to transition into like the unstructured part of the show. So sure, sure, all right. See y'all next week. Or we'll see y'all later on the show, but uh podcast VOD viewers, see y'all next week. Beefy bye. Fuck shut the fuck up. Beef out. Chad shut.